Hey, happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. Uh, I'm telling you what, I am so excited tonight. I Me tell too. you what, I am excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. We have, uh, I, you know, I, I've been thinking about this for like at least a month and a half. Which when, whenever yeah. we started to yeah. reach out to you, yep. we have the, uh, uh, the Rock City Paranormal people in the house. So you guys are, yes. the, you guys are the founders? <laughs> we are, yeah. yeah. All right, Let's so go. tell me a little bit about you guys. Um, well, there's five of us um, that kind of founded this team. Uh, we've been doing this for almost four years. Okay. Um, and this is our third team that we've been on. Okay. Um, so we kind of- First we, one that we've- That we've you guys gone have got, on yeah. our own. Yeah. 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 Gotcha. And um, it's compiled of uh, us and three other people from our previous team that we, right. we all kind of had the like-mindedness of what we wanted to do with the team. Mm how we wanted to handle investigations and, you know, things that we wanted to do as a team. So we kind of branched off and made our own team. And, and so like, what's like the uh, mission of, okay, you're about to go on an investigation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys get together. You're like, what are you trying to find that night? Is well, it specific or is it just, you know what? Well, if it's a residential investigation, right. we're there for a purpose. Yeah. Um, so that, I was going to ask oh, you that. Okay. Is that like, are, are you guys, is your mission statement kind of like helping people that are Absolutely. very uncomfortable? Oh, in Absolutely. Their okay. Yeah. And yeah. you know, I think our team is made up of a lot of different walks of life. We yeah. all specialize in something different, oh, yeah. cool. bring something different to the table. And, and usually when we are going on a home investigation, we kind of put together what we think is needed right? and then move forward. Gotcha. So, yeah. Now, there's so much to ask. I mean, let's just jump into a few different things here. You know, I know there's like a, a bunch of different haunts, right? I mean, mm -hmm. you basically have, you know, like poltergeist that was that's typically attached to a person. Yeah, typically. Um, and it's only a female usually, right? Is, am I wrong about that? Or um, I don't know if it's typically female or not, but usually they kind of um, encounter it usually when they're like teens. Ah, that's yeah, that's young. when they see that mm. come, you know, into effect. And that's, you know, because they're probably just going through so many things emotionally, physically. Yeah, so what, what is, is, like, is it? Is a it, demon on it. Is it, is it, yeah, is it an entity attaching to that energy or is it just their energy? It's, it's a their vulnerability. Energy. It's their yeah. energy. Yeah. yeah. So that's not, I mean, it's paranormal, but it's not like something, it's them projecting. Yes. That's crazy. It, it, it can be because they're vulnerable. Um, okay. Because... They're very unsure. So right. it's almost like, you know, opportunity. Right. Mm. Yeah. Well, That's I've been unsure my whole life. You know, it's amazing <laughs> yeah. that I haven't been poltergeist. Well, yeah. you never we know. Have some stories. You know, yeah, some we have some stories. Yeah, we do have some stories. Yeah. We do have some stories. Sometimes it's what they're messing around with, too. Yeah. You, you, and uh, let's talk about that right Good now. Point. That, that, do, when you guys go out, are you ever concerned or do you have a ritual set so things don't follow you home? Because that, scare, that scares the heck What's, out of me, right? Is it like the... Uh, Sage, the sage, you know and what? Stuff, um, someone else. I'd say we all do something a little bit different. Okay. I think m one of the things that I do on the team is protection. I'm okay, very interested in like the stones and crystals, right. and um, I will usually make the mix if we're going to cleanse a home. So it's right. not just typically sage. We go with mm. what we think is needed. Cool. Kelly has, you know, her thing that she does. I think we kind of. We kind of uh, work off each other. Gotcha. We're usually together. You know, she backs me, I back her. Gotcha. And I think intention is probably the biggest thing. Okay. Our, our intention, you know, that that we we keep ourselves safe. Right. Um, we don't do anything stupid. Right. Obviously, we're very careful. Right. And, you know, we do have a ritual. What we do before, right. what we do after. Right. Now, I mean, some of the stupid things, you know, do you think that would be much like a lot of things you see on the TV stuff, right? Yes. Like the Ouija boards some and the, them, yeah. you know, some of the crazy um, rituals. The, the Ouija boards, um, personally, we don't do those. Yeah, that seems um, scary. Do you yeah. have any thoughts about those? Personally, like any... Or do you I, think you know what? I think we've come a long way on that yeah. uh, together. Um, yeah. okay. At first, we were kind of like, no, absolutely no, just, not. No, okay. now I, we think of it more of a tool for communication. Okay, okay. but I think if you're inexperienced, yeah. um, you know, and you don't know how to open or close a session correctly, okay. then you're kind of opening a door oh, that right. you shouldn't. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, so we just choose not to use it. I, I don't necessarily think it's an evil thing. Okay. I think yeah, I, it's I, I, I was, you know, it's funny. I was thinking about this I'm, and you'll find I go off topic a little bit here, but, <laughs> but it's interesting because I think the Ouija board was like made in like the early 1900s, if I'm not mistaken, like who owns the rights to that? Jay, can you do me a favor? Can you punch up who owns the rights to Ouija board? Is someone getting paid every time a kid is buying a Ouija board? Milton Bradley? Because, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Like, sure. yeah, I'm just I know very they sell curious. It at, uh, well, I don't even 
know if Toys R Us is around anymore, but when it was, you could buy yeah, them. You at can Toys buy it at Target. I think yeah, at Target. Yeah, Hasbro. I had one when I was little. R- really? Yes, yeah, I did. Hasbro. Yeah. So yeah, Hasbro, Hasbro. Patricia Straits. Uh, it's so okay. so. I wonder how they bought it. Like you know, it probably, it's it's really there interesting. There is a story, and we learned about that at one, at one of the um, conventions that we went to. Okay. We like to do that. You know, it always gives us a little bit of. Um, little more information and things that we can put together for our team. Sure. But we learned about it. I just don't remember the details. Now, I know yeah. that there is that uh, Michigan Paranormal um, convention like up north. Yes. Have you guys Paracon. been to that? Yeah. Paracon. We Paracon. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. I wanted to go to that because I know a lot of the guys like – there's there's that guy. What's his name? And and you guys are like from this area. It's like John John T- Tenney. Tenney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's. Have, do you guys know him at all? Or is um, it... yeah, we've met him a few times. Okay. And um, he actually he's from Royal Oak. Yeah, he's right down the street. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's. Yep. I, I find it interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Very intelligent. Yeah, yeah. he seems yeah. like a. Yeah, I don't know. I just yeah. see what I see on TV, and I I've done plenty of yeah. TV to know that it can be BS. But right. but he no, does seem like he seems. He's like a pretty good, guy. good. He's he's really into doing like the investigation part of it, of like. He's not just going to go investigate because somebody's, you know, hears something. Right. He's he looks into it and he makes sure that there's really something there before he's going right. to spend his time on it. But um, we've gone to a few. Well, we we talked to him at the convention and then um, he actually does. Well, right now they, it's closed. But in Berkeley, there's a, a restaurant called Omara's. Okay. okay. And he usually comes there three, four times a year and does, you know, talks and things. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yep. So well, the last one, it was with... Uh, Andrea, Andrea Perrin. Yep. Okay. From The Conjuring. Yeah, from The Conjuring. The, yeah. the original family. Oh my gosh, so, that's crazy. Yeah, we were that Conjuring thing is to, crazy, man. That to thing. have dinner with her and it was pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah, and I, and like we we talked a little bit before about you know the you know Lorraine and stuff. I mean that 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 I mean that's where it started, right? I mean they were kind of like the the first paranormal investigators, kind of, or was there I, someone before them? Yeah, I mean they kind of kicked it off. I mean I don't, there was a special about them, and I, I did watch it, which it was kind of interesting. But yeah, I mean people really didn't see it as you know hauntings or home hauntings, right. and they kind of took it on, and they're the ones that kind of were the jump start for all this other stuff to yeah, come could, about. And it's amazing because at the end of their career, now she's still alive, right? She's no, just retired. She passed. she passed away. Okay, yeah. they're gone. I, okay, man. they're both gone. Okay, I didn't know how long she was around for, but uh, but she retired for quite some time after her 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 husband died. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I I mean they're just like legends. I mean again, we're reptile people, or animal people, so there's like the legends of that mm-hmm. world, and yeah. and uh, they kind of open the doors uh for people to take it serious, right? Right. Yeah. You know, which so, is pretty crazy. Like when people, so do people call you and and. Let me be like, oh my goodness, I yes, have this yes. this haunting. Now, <laughs> 2 how do those phone, <laughs> 2 yeah. yeah, how do those phone calls go down? Like, well, typically they'll call or email or go to our website and send okay. us an application, uh, and then we do have um, a, it's not really an application, but we have questions and things that we kind of give them and talk to them on yeah. the phone and and gather information of you know what's going on, how long has it been going on yeah. for. You know, and and try to look for things that could be causing it other than hauntings or yeah, paranormal. Because I'm imagining a good majority of paranormal stuff is explainable. Yes. You know, I mean, yeah, the you know, pipes are creaking. Yeah. And yeah, people right. are thinking that it's a little girl's going. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's ironic enough. Even uh, I, I had mentioned before that you know I I had a lot of experiences when I was younger. And really not as much over my adult life. And I think that's pretty common, you know, as you get older, you kind of close that door, so to speak. But uh, weirdly enough, since I was probably 15, 16 years old, I had not had sleep paralysis. And last night I had sleep paralysis. Sure. And uh, but what, what, how it started was our dog sleep in our bed, uh, which is horrible because it's a Great Dane and a, and a German Shepherd. <laughs> uh, but So there's not a lot of space and even in a big bed. But uh, um, so I, I fell asleep and... I, I kind of was woken to a, a noise right next to me, pretty you know loud noise. And I woke up, startled a little bit, didn't know what it was. And, and both dogs were looking towards where the noise came from. Again, it freaked me out a little bit, no big deal. And then I fell asleep and sometime in the next hour or two, I have no idea how long it was. I, I woke up with sleep paralysis with like a kind of shadowy figure coming over my head and I couldn't move and stuff like that. But, I, but that's not really paranormal. I mean, the, the first part may or may not have been, but, but, but the sleep paralysis is, I mean, is that, I heard that 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 was demonic. I don't know. What do you got? What 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 is that? Sleep paralysis can happen kind of to anybody. It's kind of like, um, your body's sleeping, um, and you're awake, but your mind isn't. So you can't move. So that, that's where the paralysis comes in. Um, so, so that is like a medical, right. We actually had a a case not too, well, a couple of years ago where 
the lady was experiencing that, but it was, there were so many factors contributing it to right. it. So, you know, giving her some suggestions, she's good. Yeah. The fact that, you know, we keep in contact with them and they're great supporters of our team, but yeah, yeah we were able to, you know, kind of boil it down to what it really was. Right. And help good. her out. Yeah. yeah. But there, there was paranormal activity in her home for sure. There but was. the sleep paralysis was not part of it. Yeah. And that's where I think like last night, I think it was just a coincidence. Maybe my mind was in a, in a, a because of this weird experience, right. I was like, you know, kind of, you know, tricked my mind or something like that. But it's just weird that it literally had not happened since I was a teenager. I hate yeah. it. And uh, there's this one, uh, there's a series on Netflix. I think it was called, uh, Devil, oh no, Evil is what it was called. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. Evil, I didn't uh, see the show, but yeah, I saw it. The way they did their sleep paralysis was exactly how mine happened. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it was like this person lived my life and drove it out. I was just like, what? Yeah, it's, it's, a very, it's a very terrifying experience. It was super no terrifying. But even when it was happening to me last night, I wasn't thinking it was paranormal. I was thinking more that it was just, you know, I had to put all right. my energy into move my toe. Right. <laughs> you know, like, go into panic mode, I think, yeah, is, yeah. you know, what happens. And like Kelly said, your your mind isn't aware yet. Yeah, yeah. But it's definitely weird. So so families, do you, do you is there any rhyme or reason to this i mean is it like older houses newer houses is there i mean what is there is it across the board i mean you know i always think about that like think about across buying a new house i'm always like i don't know if i want to buy a new house because it might be haunted yeah honestly if i ever buy a new house i'm having somebody check it out yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. which we've um, done we've yeah. cleansed yeah. Home be homes right, before right. people have moved in but right. yeah, yeah. So. And, and, and it is it's kind of across the board i mean in some of the investigations we've done it's it's the location mm -hmm. you know they're you know near i don't know native american land right. or somewhere there's been a trauma right that kind of thing there's also been where we go and it's not the house at all it's it's the people that are living there wow. and, and you know either that's got to be been, hard to break on them like well Listen, yeah it's you know, not the house is it's you, you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah. so um you know it just depends we've run we've into seen, the whole yeah we've seen just about everything and sometimes it's a residual energy but it's right. just freaking them out no yeah way. and that's what we we're talking about is that there's like the poltergeist there's residual there's intelligent haunts there's you know i mean there's so there's a lot mm -hmm. going on that you have to kind of as yeah. an investigator figure out what what right. the deal is right right now, like what are some of those experiences like so we're talking about it vaguely but like uh is there a specific experience that stuck out to you guys that uh i don't even know happened yeah. recently or is there well i mean this we we do a lot of um like historic tours right. and you know sometimes it's combined with a haunt mm. you know we take the the clients around and it's really to promote like a museum or a historic location sure. and right. for them to be able to get funds to you know yeah keep kind of reestablish open, yeah. yeah um so those are t are usually different so there's always history there's always right. something like last night we were at eloise and we had yeah, some, so some cool. pretty cool things happening we were kind of uh kind of on a break we were waiting for our next group to come up and we we had pizza so mm -hmm. we're sitting there and we're like all right so you want some pizza then you hear pizza we really? had we had a couple different things going we had um an evp going we had an ovulus what else did spirit we have box. going a spirit, a spirit box, box going yeah. so and then you know once you get something like that of course you want to debunk it sure. so we we try to ask questions that will you know basically validate right you okay. know to see if we're getting something legitimate or if it's coincidence but right. then you know okay so how many pieces of pizza or in the box, <laughs> three. Yep. Yeah. Really? <laughs> it's kind of crazy. So we get, it nailed it, huh? Mm -hmm. And that's See, coming through the spirit box? Mm -hmm. Okay, because obviously, you know, I'm watching a lot of TV, all right? And I see the spirit box, and I'm thinking to myself, come on, this is just a box saying blue, blah, yeah. blah, blah. It seems so fake. Like, right. You know, and so well, yeah. Let's explain what so it means. So it's it's like what scanning a gazillion channel. What? what how there, is it yes. working? There's a couple of different kinds. Mm -hmm. So um, some of them just have like a word bank, right? And they can draw from the word bank, right? Um, okay. There are some that had to go through the radio waves, yeah. And it just it goes through the waves, the stations right. so quickly right. that basically spirit is supposed to be able to to form words and whatever. Uh -huh. And kind of like you said, it's like oh yeah, you know, it just spits out things. Yeah. And a lot of times that's what it is mm -hmm. but like how judy was explaining 
when you ask it a specific question and right. the answer is right there and yeah. then it continues to answer exactly what you're like asking it, of, okay. right. then, then you, you know, maybe you have something there. Right. Sure. And it doesn't happen it often, sense. but yeah. like yeah. I said, you know, we, we try to make sure that it, okay. it is legitimate and yeah. it's great when we have multiple pieces of equipment in sync, yeah. you know, then yeah. we get really excited, you know, when, yeah. uh, you know, right. all of our equipment's going off and they're all corresponding in the same way right. and we're getting, um, in, you know, intelligent answers. Yeah, because yeah, that excited. spirit box, you know, like that's the only one that I have like questions about really because, you know, EVPs are simple. Mm -hmm. You're listening with your human ears. There's nothing. But in this EVP, there's voices. That's pretty simple yeah. to understand. You'd be like, okay, I can at least, even yeah. if you don't believe in ghosts, you're like, that's a voice. Mm -hmm. How can right. you explain that? Right. But yeah. um, the spirit box just, it's always... Like, I don't know. Well, I it's think, never won my heart over with mm -hmm. like, and I don't know And I think what why. happens too is the it. TV side of the house, you know, it, it's so sensationalized, you yeah. know, so, yeah. so they're going to make, you know, we always joke around and by the way, we like ghost adventures. Oh, we, yeah, we, we love we, that. I, I watch it as entertainment. Yeah. I don't, I don't watch it as paranormal scientists. <laughs> you know, I always think the funniest part is when they say, you know, we've worked, you know, whatever to gain we've the worked. respect yeah. of, uh, the, and I'm thinking, I don't think anyone probably respects you in the paranormal <laughs> world, but, uh, but I like the show. I like it. I think it's funny, but we always do say they could find a demon in a paper bag, right? Yep, uh, absolutely. It doesn't matter where they go. They're going to find a demon. And I, and I'm assuming <laughs> that even like, uh, I think that, uh, we talked about before, like paranormal state from Penn state was kind of one of the early shows in the new modern era. Mm -hmm. And that seemed pretty legit. You know, and then um, then I think Ghost Hunters Taps came on the scene. And, and I really, the reason I liked that show was because the first season, they debunked almost everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was very, it was kind of like probably mm -hmm. what you guys are doing, you mm -hmm. know, like legit, like trying to find out that it's not that before you're saying, you don't walk into a place and say, oh yeah, you got paranormal activity, you know, you got a right. ghost or a demon. You're saying, let's try to debunk this. And that's what it is. And, and I think that's why some of even the people of the early days of, from what I've understood, you know, and I've had some contact with some of the people that used to be on the show. They said that basically that's why they left the show was because it turned from that to kind of like, now we have to find a ghost right. every single episode. And so that's maybe why the spirit box for, for someone that's watching TV gets a little bit like, because, you know, they're walking by and they say, Oh, did you hear that? That means, you know, yeah, right, and, right. And, and that's uh, and, and it, so what do you guys think about that? I mean, you know, obviously I think there still is some, you know, you could look at it both ways, right? Like mm -hmm. there's some great exposure, because of the TV, you know, especially in particular travel channel, it seems like every other, you know, every show is yeah. a paranormal show. Um, but at the same time, they kind of take away from the science of it a little Absolutely. bit. So what's, you know, so where are you at? I would think us? that and we, you know, we try to have a more scientific approach to what yeah. we do. Yeah. So that's important to us. Um, we, we go in there with the mindset that it's not paranormal. Right. And, you know, we, we do everything from, you know, checking the energy lines from the house and the electrical yeah. and, you know, like if they have a lot of aquariums, for instance, mm, that's interesting. water's a conductor. I wonder why I'm so messed up. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. And again, we all kind of have something different that we do or maybe that we're looking for. And I yeah. think that's what we like so much about our team now right. is that we all do something different, bring something yeah, different to the team. table. And then, right. you know, and then, you know, sometimes we disagree with each other, but we're supposed to. And, yeah. Yeah. And we keep do, yeah. each other in check in check because, sure. uh, more often than not, we're skeptical of anything. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're not just like, Oh wow. Yeah. That's, it was a ghost. Right. right. You know, or, you know, Oh yeah, mm. it was this because, you know, we're very skeptical and, and we'll troubleshoot. We'll try to figure out what caused that. Um, you know, people will take a picture and be like, Ooh, do you see that in there? And we're like, okay, take a couple more. Yeah. And it was funny that I just saw a picture that a friend of mine posted today for Halloween, obviously. And they were at, uh, a, you know, like a historical place that's supposed to be haunted. I can't remember what it was called, but, but they took a picture like in a mirror in the back, you could see like a window and it was like, do you see the lady in the window? And I was like, that's yeah, probably just, you know, app or, you know, matrixing with, you right. know, like mm -hmm. light deflections and so on like that. But I think it's important to probably to be a skeptic, you know, really, I because, agree. because I'd probably be the, that's probably why I'd make a terrible ghost hunter. You yeah, know, I'd go into every place being like, oh, this place is haunted. <laughs> <laughs> this place yeah. is haunted for sure. So but, uh, you, you, you said that you guys are very skeptical, like, which we agree is good. Yeah. Now, what is one thing that you can say without a doubt? I, I, I think this is a ghost here. Do you yeah. have like any experiences where like, cause I want to yeah. get to the juice. I want to get yeah. to these people that are watching that are like, I don't believe in ghosts. 
I don't believe that when you die or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I want to get to the juice. You guys do this stuff. Right. What Like, yeah, I want tell a story. Us, us I want a story. Yeah. It's Halloween. Okay. You I want to get You know, we've all spooked. had personal experiences as mm-hmm. well. And I yeah. think, I, I would like to think that I'm very skeptical. Mm-hmm. But I had experiences when I was little. Yeah. My mm-hmm. mom had the same experiences. And then my daughters had the, the, the experience oh. as well. The mm-hmm. exact yeah. same thing. Oh, wow. So, you know, when you get something like that, and yeah. I remember telling my mom about it. And she's like, oh, yeah, that's just so-and-so. You know, he died. And, and I'm like... What? Thanks. Thanks right. for telling me about this. <laughs> Just because, like, no you know, big deal. I've been like, seeing this for like a month now. And then yeah. when my girls right. were like, yeah, hey, mom, there's there's a there's an old man in the closet with a hat. And I'm Jeez. like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's yeah. not Ooh, something I you want to hear. I used to have people in my closet, too. Yeah. Yeah. He no, was harmless, though. He just, you know, I think it was a residual energy. OK. I think gotcha. that's all it was. There was no interaction. It was just we all saw the exact same thing. And my girls were like. I'm going to say five and seven right. at the time. So you want to know, so this is like kind of a, uh, no, it's actually not off topic. I don't even know why I thought that when my grandpa died, when my pap pap died, yep. uh, I remember I was laying in my bed and I used to sleep with my door open. I remember within like a week of his death, yeah. a tall man that, I mean, he was tall and lanky, came to my door, looked in and just turned around and left. And I remember that was like, I didn't feel fear or anything. I was just like, that's my pap pap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's so strange. Like, you know, you tell people that and, you know, they take it as they do. But, like, I don't think that can human brains create that? Like, uh, can they make it up? Or, like, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, like, we, I understand. Are and we I creating think absolutely. it? Absolutely. I think that we can create things. Yeah. I think, you know, depending on our state of mind. But yeah. then again, that doesn't mean that what you saw didn't happen. Right. So, yeah, had, so Kelly's so had some good experiences. And she's, I think she's more open yeah. than I am. So she <laughs> feels and experiences more. Like when we're together, I'm, yeah. I'm kind of like, you know, she's kind of saying what's going on. I'm like, okay, I don't see it. I don't feel it, but okay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah she's, so she's probably more people, open to yeah, it. Yeah, probably more sensitive mm-hmm. on that level. So tell us, what, what are some of those? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> like a, well, okay, we were, we, last year, uh, she and I went to uh, uh, New Orleans. Mm-hmm. And um, oh, there's yeah. Myrtle's Plantation that's down there. Yeah. And um, it's haunted or whatever. And so we are like, oh, we're going to drive over there and check it out. And uh, we introduced ourselves. We did their tour, and we're like, "Oh, we're from a paranormal team. Do you mind if we, you know?" And they're like, "Oh no, stay as long as you want." Wow, that's nice. And uh, so we were we were sitting on the back porch waiting for our tour to start. And you know, they they have like little you know pamphlets and things. And we're, we were sitting on the porch, waiting for uh, the tour. And all of a sudden, out of the corner of my eye, I just see this like shadow figure. It was in the corner of the porch, and it came right up to me, and it was like right here. Wow. And of course, when I turned, it kind of just like went away. Yeah. And I and I didn't say anything, but she's like, "What?" What? <laughs> I'm like, and I'm like, by the look yeah. on her I'm face. like, I think I just saw my full first full body, you know, wow. apparition. And um, I'm like, I gotta ask somebody here. And we went. They have this little store, and they have like the TV screens, and they have pictures mm-hmm. of people who had visited there and taken pictures of you know spirits and things right. that they you know had tried to debunk and couldn't. Sure. And we went back there and we were watching and immediately this picture popped up and it was the back porch and it was this full, same full body apparition standing in the same spot wow. where I saw it. That's awesome. And I was like, Whoa. <laughs> you know, yeah. so it was kind of like that thing, but it's like, I saw it, I felt mm-hmm. it, it came over and yeah. you know, not yeah. that you were like oblivious, but, but you were, you know, you weren't aware of it at I all. Wasn't. No, just yeah. by the look on her face. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Like you saw a ghost. I <laughs> think, I think that's the thing, right? Is that there are certain, some, not only are there some people that are a little bit more sensitive. I mean, I think that, um, certainly at least when I was younger, I was very sensitive. I don't know that I am necessarily now because I think you block it out as you get older. But when I was younger, I had lots of different experiences, um, similar to yours. I'll tell you a real quick story that, that I, I used to live, uh, when I was like about 11 years old, I moved into my mom's basement. Um, because we only had two rooms, my brother and sister and stuff like that. So I got my own room in the basement. And, uh, but, uh, so it was just a really small room and there was an outer part of the basement that I used to have a chair where I'd listen to music and go to sleep. And uh, weirdly enough, the, the, my room was across the basement. So you had to walk down the stairs, shut the lights off to get to my room or vice versa. Right. <laughs> and so I, I'm, you know, down the basement, I fall asleep and, and, uh, and, and I'm in my chair, I fall asleep and, and sure enough, I wake up and, and there's like a black mass in my face and it just like flutters away quickly. Right. 
no big deal. Maybe I'm sleeping. Maybe I'm dreaming. Who knows what happens, right? So I like get freaked out. I go in my room. I shut the door. Uh, this is about two o'clock in the morning now. And um, for the next four hours, there's knocking on the walls of my bedroom, knocking on the walls of my bedroom. Now I can't get out to get to the stairs unless I go across things. But what that in itself is like, all right, who knows, right? I'm not going to say that is whatever it is. But the thing that really got me was that, uh, number one, my friend who we used to say his mom had like the bat line to God because she was like real religious and she was very sensitive as well. She, you know, could, you know, speak to the devils or whatever in the world. And, uh, so when I saw my friend, he, he, he said, Hey, are you okay? The next morning goes, are you okay? And I go, why? And he said, well, my mom woke up at two o'clock in the morning and prayed for you all night. And then to, then to really corroborate things, when my dad got home from work, my stepdad got home from work, that night he was mad at me because he, he, I, was, he, I kept him up all night making noise in the basement. Wow. So, so it was a pretty interesting experience. I've had, I've had a lot, quite a few of, that was the most like corroborated one mm -hmm. though, right? You know what I mean? And let me and tell you, that basement. That basement was bad. You, you go down there, yeah, it you was bad. feel like. Yeah, no I don't know other. why. I, I don't know why. Like, I, you I, get like this almost this most evil sensation like yeah, it was a bad it basement feels not you don't feel safe yeah like whatever it is like it yeah thankfully we don't have it, the house yeah, we don't we, own we, that we, yeah my, it was my mom's house we sold it and and uh yeah, and, and i never I felt that in any like other basement not even no. at the insane asylum you no, know like you yeah, and it was weird because weird um, because ever since i was a kid i lived there my whole life and and ever since i was a kid it was like the basement was always scary so it was weird that i ended up like living in the basement for five, six years before, before we moved out. But, uh, it, um, I remember I used to have to do laundry down there sometimes for just uh, whatever occasional reasons. And it got so bad. My mom used to do it and she would be, she'd be like, no, what you got to do it now. Right. And she would send me down there. I'd be like, no, no, I would have to do it. It's my mom. I have to do what she says, <laughs> but I would know she would be at the top of stairs, like looking like, Oh, I'm not coming down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Even, even to the point where my mom, this was be before this happened, she did have a priest come in and bless the basement. Okay. And this was when I was like four years old or something like that. So she had obviously had experiences <laughs> when I was a child and, uh, whatever was there continued to maintain. But, uh, that's why. What, I, sorry, that's just why I don't understand why some people don't believe. Like, we like we have experience. I have personal experiences. We all do. Why don't some people? I th I think it goes to the person. The I mean, person. some people are are sensitive. Some people just kind of follow their intuition and are aware of things around them. Mm -hmm. And I think some people just aren't, whether they don't want to be, or they just, you know everything is yeah, excused away you right. know now, do you think it's but do you think that a lot i mean do you think that a lot of the, the the haunted places you've been i mean do you think that they're attached to spirits from human people or is it demons or a little bit of both or is there like a second is i'm always confused about is there this yeah. parallel you know like this this other realm that we're just kind of crossing over and you know i'm always con you know I, I guess no one really knows i'm just yeah. curious what your opinion is uh, I think we have multiple opinions on that because, you know, we've seen all of the above. Okay. So, um, yes, definitely like something like Eloise, it's probably Residual. history of the people yeah. that were there, you know, okay. the people that died there or the people that worked there or whatever right. trauma happened. Yeah. There's energy, tons right. of energy. Yeah. 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 And you know what? And that kind of energy can, can create more energy right you know and, and sometimes you can pinpoint it to like a specific spot in a house if we're doing a residential and you know there's some trauma going on there um we've we've seen some things that are a little otherworldly that right. were like you know but i i think we've seen it all so yeah so what do you and, think and is the uh, most otherworldly thing you've seen Okay, so <laughs> yeah. Okay, go ahead. Don't worry, we <laughs> said a lot of crazy stuff. Is that what you're thinking? Um, Cemetery? Well, did you say? No, I, we no. went. We went to um, the Ohio State Reformatory this summer. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, it was Judy and I and um, three other people. Um, and we there's this attic area that they used to put when the prisons in the area overflowed. They would put like people in this attic area, nice. and it was just like. Free for all. Free for all. No, oh, wow. there's no cells, no nothing. They would just put 
you know, a couple yeah, hundred sur- guys in survival there. Survival of the fittest. Yeah. Exactly. And um, it actually had been on a show kind of before we went there. And um, they said that, you know, there was a, a lot of negativity, a lot of energy sure. there. Um, women that had went in there had been touched or pinched or their mm-hmm. hair pulled. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're like, okay, we're going to go in there. And so we're five <laughs> in the dark. Yeah. Oh, and yeah there, so there's five, five women in there and we're just like, okay. And we, we have some of our uh, stuff set up and see if anything will go off or anything. And we're all just kind of sitting there waiting for something to happen. And we heard some like footsteps and kinds of things like that. And we're just like, Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. And we're just all sitting there. And then all of a sudden it's like, it's this big long room and then we're kind of in the middle. Yeah. And the back of the room just like lit up, like somebody turned all the lights on and there was this huge shadow figure of a man back there. And he just flashed and then it probably lasted a second and a half and then it went dark again. And we all just kind of looked at each other. Like who turned their flashlight on? Turned it back on and none of us. Who who did that? And, and we, we did everything to debunk it, but yeah. there, all of us saw the exact same thing at the exact same time. Of course, nobody wow. was videotaping, but we saw, <laughs> saw everything Gotta exactly the same. Yeah. And mind yeah. you, there's only one entrance yeah. into this right. room, one door. Yeah, and so we no were in between. Yeah. yeah, we were in between. Plus, you know, we would have heard them come in because right. there's so much stuff all over the floor. Sure. But where we heard all the shuffling and things getting moved was towards the back. And that's yeah. where we saw like the brilliant light right. is I guess the best way to describe it in a full form. It almost looked like, you know, we're looking back like who's casting that shadow. But right. if there was light behind us, our shadows would have been right, cast yeah, as well. Right. And so we that was couldn't probably, figure yeah, it out. The craziest thing we've ever like all seen that we could all say we all saw that. At the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, yeah I think that, you know, my experiences that I've had, uh, I think the human mind always does try to like when it's going on, you might be thinking like, oh my gosh, something's crazy, whatever. Then after you're, you're trying to self-explain it away. Like this, you know, even the experience I told you guys about before, still to this day, I'm trying to, like, it couldn't have been real. You know I mean? that You know, there's got to be an explanation for this, you know. Uh, in actuality, it's probably not an explanation. Who knows what that was, you know? I mean, I have no idea. Certainly, I can tell you the experiences that I had when I was young, especially in the basement, were not uh, like he had mentioned with his, his grandpa, you know, not friendly, <laughs> you know, yeah. like not, not comforting, you know, where you feel like, and most of, quite frankly, the majority of the experiences I've had, I can't think of any experience I've had that has been comforting. And I've heard that. I've heard some people, I mean, have you guys had that where someone might have a haunting, but yet they feel almost like as a loved one? Absolutely. Yeah. Quite a bit actually. And you know, if they want us to cleanse the home, it can be as specific as, but I don't want this person to leave. Wow. I, I want this person to stay. You wow. know, this is, I feel safe with right. this, you know, family member here. Right. But yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. But isn't that a little bit scary too, though, right? Because like, I mean, couldn't a demon be a, you know, hiding out right. as a family? Or do you think that that's just you know, I, hocus I, pocus? I, my views on demons yeah. mm-hmm. and that we encounter them, I believe it's very few and far between. Okay. I don't know that we have ever encountered anything okay. that I would say demonic, is demonic. Yeah. Okay. Now we've definitely had negative re- energy, you know, sure. some really bad juju or whatever, yeah. you know, and, and my explanation for that kind of negative energy is the person was an asshole before they died. And, oh, oh, okay. Sorry. No, and no, they are fine. now. <laughs> he swears more than you can okay. imagine on the podcast. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so, so this is the cleanest continue. podcast we've done. And then, yeah. you know, sometimes there's the instance where maybe they don't realize that they've passed or right. they can't That's move scary. on or they're there for a specific reason. And as time goes on, they just get angrier and angrier. And that's where I think some of those really negative energies come from. Yeah, I, I know no one un- knows what really happens, right? right? Sure. You know, I mean, obviously no one knows, but I know there's been some, you know, one of the, I can't remember who explained it, and I thought it was really an interesting explanation. Like, there are times, like, let's say you die, and then you, you can move on to the other side, and mm-hmm. you basically choose not to, right. and now you're stuck in this realm, you know? That seemed like the most reasonable explanation, because you think about it, like, okay, well, why... Is there some ghosts and some not ghosts? I mean, look at Houdini is a great example, right? His his wife did everything. I mean, he said, when I die, I'm coming back. Right. And she did everything she could do her whole life, seances and everything else to get him, and he never came back, mm-hmm. you know? And this mm-hmm. is a guy that, I mean, made the promise 
I'm not going to cross over. Right. So it's weird. You know, you, I wonder how, yeah. that, you know, that's what makes you the whole I would like bizarre. to think that there's some sort of a choice in it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that's always the case. As you're saying, we, we yeah. don't really know. Right. But I think it's probably comforting to think, you know, that you do have a choice. I like yeah, to I think, think uh, I'm, I'm going to get reincarnated. I get to choose what animal. I want to be a tiger next. Oh, a we've tiger, got like a whole a hit King. list of people we're going to come back and haunt. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're going down. Yeah. <laughs> that would be an interesting thought, though. I never really even heard that one where he's saying, yeah. like, you can choose whether or not to go. I never heard that one. Like, like I just always thought the residual energy was a good one, like, where I kind of agree with it because, I don't know, it just kind of makes sense. Like, you mm-hmm. do these actions in these rooms and whatever uh, – materials are in the room whatever can keep yeah, absorb, it or whatever. yeah they right. absorb your energy does it make sense to me like oh it can preserve this hologram looking figure forever like no it doesn't really make sense but i'll accept it for whatever reason and then there's like other ones that you hear yeah you talk about demons i, I don't know what that's about like I've never personally seen a demon, but <laughs> I've had that. I hope not. Yeah, let's hope not. I've, yeah. had the, uh, I've had the sleep paralysis or the old hag syndrome or what they call it. And mine was definitely the old hag because mine was the old lady, uh, long, uh, wet hair that's coming over her face. And she, she uh, walks up slow to me, goes over my face. And is looking at my face, and I can't move, and I can't help but to look in her eyes. And then she zips out of the room, fast, closes the door, slams. And I'm like panicked, right? Panic, panic. And I'm like, I can't go back to sleep because I know if I go back to sleep, oh. Were you I'm watching back. The Ring the night before? Yeah, yeah, The <laughs> Ring. Yeah, it sounds like The Ring or The I was on, Yeah, the I grudge. was on mushrooms. <laughs> 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 no, but, not that, the that, pizza it. kind either. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, yeah, that is that. That's the type of stuff that scares the hell out of me. That you know? was like, so scary. It happened like three right. times in a row. You know, and when you hear things from people that you trust, that you you know. You know, people that have integrity, that are honest yeah. for the most part, and you hear their stories, you know, you can't explain it. You can't say, no, that didn't happen to you. Right. So, and I, I do think it's different for everybody. Like Kelly said, some people are more open to it. Some people are closed off. I think I'm yeah. more closed off and I okay. think I, that I choose to be as yeah, well. You know, that's my and form that's of protection. And that's probably good. That's probably good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah, it's just a little bit of everything. Yeah, I think it, it's, again, you know, there's probably in an investigation, it's important to have people that are closed off, that aren't open, and then probably people that are a little bit more sensitive, right? I mean, that's how, you know, it, it, it's always seems to be in the investigative world. You know, you want someone that's open-minded a little bit and someone that's a little bit more practical, right. pragmatic. And I think if you don't have that, if everyone goes in going like, there's demons in every, you know, yeah. then you got right, Zach right. Bagans and, and uh, <laughs> you know. I love Zach. Goes, I know I love um, the Zach Finn. Well, it's like, the one house, or maybe maybe you have multiple families that you've helped the most. Like, um, what was like their problem they were having, and how did you resolve it, and what was the outcome of it? Like, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Um, you, you want no, to? go ahead on that one because I know what you're gonna talk about. Go ahead. <laughs> if it's what Do I'm you? thinking, tell me which one is it. It's either New York, Georgia. Possibly Georgia, yeah. Uh, recently, a yeah. m- month or so ago, we were in Georgia, okay. um, and this uh, f- family has had problems for a few years, and um, we went down there with a couple other people, not on our team, but we work with them once in a while, um, and we went down there to to help them, and um, we were just very straightforward with them. They they do have issues going on in their house. We helped get rid of some of them. Um, and, um, you know, just kind of told them uh, one of the, the people there is very good at conjuring things. Mm-hmm. You know, they get upset, they whatever, they, they kind of conjure things. So we, we just basically had to tell them, you know, you, you have this ability and you have to get it under control. Right. Um, because this, this is causing some of the problems. Not all yeah. of them. We took care of the other ones. But, you know, this one you, you have to work on. Um, and, um, when we left, they were super happy. They, um, have been in contact with the other people that we went down there with and they're happy. Nothing's been going on now. They're, you know, moving on with things. They're taking taking, our advice, taking our advice. And, you know, and, and that's the best thing is like when we can help a family or a home and then give them advice, you know, 
so that things stay good. Right. right. Um, How to move forward. Yeah. Right. And um, that goes to what Noah was saying about, yeah. you know, your mind creating things. This yeah. lady could manifest, right. you yeah. know, and so she was creating all these problems. Yeah. Ooh, and so Unintentionally. Were right. these problems physical? Were they objects falling? Everything. Were they uh, a little figures? Bit of everything. A little bit forming, of everything. A little bit of everything. Yeah. Uh, like they would. Huh. Physical. There was physical for yeah. sure. People. Oh, I've heard we like people there. get bruises and stuff. We, uh, so Kelly and I were asked to go on again, with this other team. And our team does that occasionally. We sure. will help out other teams. Um, maybe if they can't mm -hmm. handle something, we've been called in. So we've gone everywhere from Indiana, New York, Georgia, um, to kind of go in. And, you know, we've also cleaned up after a few teams. Okay. You know, there's Ooh. a lot of paranormal teams out there. Yeah, sure. You know, and some, some of them just want to ghost hunt. They want the yeah. thrill of it. The thrill sure. Those people should not be going in to help a family yeah, they're that's not in crisis. Yeah, they're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you There's know, probably, that's the yeah, unfortunate the, yeah. part of yeah. this, you know, with the paranormal being such a big hype, but, you know, it, it happens. Um, yeah. But, you know, we're fortunate that we're able to go in and help these people. But as Kelly was saying, you know, this this one house, there was just so much activity. And so we went in there with another pair and we started like at 3 p.m. And we went in different shifts. So Kelly and I went and, and we did the entire house, mm -hmm. investigated the entire house. Then they followed through, and then we compared notes. And okay. the comparisons were unbelievable. Nice. Yeah, things were just so spot on. Yeah. So then the next step is we went through again together, and we, you know, noted different things and different feelings and, you know, possible causes. And then the third time, and this is probably about 2 a.m. now, we went through and we dealt with the issues. Okay. So, but, you know, and I... I'm not the feeler. So right. Kelly and I were in this one room. It, it was actually the master bedroom. And there was a closet on either side of um, basically like the entrance to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And so Kelly's like, okay, go in there. And I'm, I opened the door and I'm like, oh, hell no. Right. I'm like, that is creepy yeah. as. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, and I, I shut the door. And then um, so the other team came in behind us and she's like, oh, no. <laughs> She really? did the same thing. Oh, wow. And so, you know, we used some yeah. of our equipment in there, and it just our rods were spinning and spinning and spinning like crazy. And it was just the dowsing rods like crazy. They, oh, it was see, like, yeah. you know, the propellers just yeah. wow, in motion. I've only so seen that one of, time. And speaking of equipment, you've got a. So, what is the equipment that you're using? I know um, you've got some stuff with you. We use a little bit of everything everything but yeah. um some i know of the you stuff do crystals and, yeah. and so on like that and then you have uh, your yeah. more electronic stuff or you little um well yeah um i have let's see what we got some of it here let's read some super chats while yeah, we why don't got you go it. why don't you yeah we'll hit a couple you. super chats we'll while we're getting Jake. that going go ahead and know you're read up them. stephanie says lived at grimsey lane in new england breathing under my bed here furniture moving in other rooms footsteps on stairs dogs staring and barking at stairs as well. That's very creepy, Stephanie. I don't know what that this is. That is super oh, creepy. Oh, I know what this is. They threw this into the tornado and Twister. That's <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's exactly <laughs> it. Yeah, that was... Uh, <laughs> I like that. That's good stuff. Uh, go ahead. Want to hit a couple more before yeah, we move yeah, yeah. on? Uh, Ember Vila says, Happy Halloween, guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are. Thank We're you. having a fantastic Wish day. The same to you. Yeah, I know. And now I want to go on an investigation. I know, this, right? Man. Let's do this. Shanae, what's up? She says, it's the first podcast I've ever seen, been able to catch live. Thank you for watching. I've been watching every video of yours since the beginning. Thank you all for bringing me company while I bake my spiked Halloween cake. <laughs> that was like the <laughs> longest run on yeah, sentence that, ever. Yeah, that was that's um, all right. Yeah, that's good though. I'm gonna buy you an enjoy. English class. Uh, <laughs> Morph mythology. Yeah, thank you so much. Boy. <laughs> Morph mythology. While I'm a super skeptic that likely won't won't buy off any of this paranormal. Dude, these people really need a I, fucking English class. I, I appreciate these guys trying to explain with science, so yeah. I appreciate it. We're actually going to go visit him. Uh, actually, he's in Montana, so we're going to go check him out. That's what's up. Courtney, welcome back. Happy spooky Halloween. Thank you, Fish Fry and Spooky Bonfire for us tonight. Fish, <laughs> fish <what's up>? Fry. <laughs> that sounds good. I'm coming to your Fish Fry. Yeah, let's man. go. Let's go. Right, right after this, we're going to do it. Let's do Cody it. Cody says, hey, guys, love the show. Always watch while I'm hunting. Got a doe down for now. Oh, boy. Man. Now that doe's going to come back and haunt your ass. I know. Man. She better. She better. Yeah, this is, uh, and by the way, that was Dorothy from Twister, just just so you know. 
Dorothy, yeah, Dorothy, and then there was Dorothy too. Mm. Yeah, so just so you guys know. So what is this? I don't know what this is. That is either. actually a cat toy. A ca oh, this is a cat. So this is just is. a cat toy. But, but we, you but use we it. use that. Yep, because if you push the button on there, I got oh, it. Or maybe that one. Okay, it's maybe. It this may one's not show because dead, yeah. Yeah, it, it, because it, we I'm were using them last night. But oh, also oh, because I see it's a little. Not oh yeah, I see a little flicker. So it lights up if you move it, but only if you move it. Oh, I see. So sometimes we set those down. Now, yep. And um. Yeah. So like last weekend at Eloise, Ooh. um, there was a chair next to me and I had it sitting in the chair and mm. it was going off. This is so. dope, man. That's so you can buy cool. this just as a cat yeah. toy. Yeah, dollar store at chewy.com. Gosh, I'm getting Yeah, we have everything from the expensive equipment down yeah. to cat oh, toys, yeah, but but we usually will put everything out. Yeah. You know? Right. And I've seen this before. Yeah. What is this called? This is called a REM pod. REM pod, yep. exactly. Yep. And then when this says on so it basically it like the like Robotics EMF around it basically changes it it lights up right yep so if something gets close to it uh, it goes off yeah. um this one also does like temperature if like things change temperature okay so we usually set it in the middle of a room or off in a doorway or something right. so if anything comes and goes um this is a uh, K, called a k2 yep k2 it, i've seen those before. the emf detector um and a lot of times uh judy kind of alluded to it earlier like when we go to, into a home We'll check out the home for EMF, you know. Yeah, like, so if it's high EMF, that could be causing some of the mm -hmm. delusions and so on. Absolutely. Like that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we we always check for that anyway. Um, and then every good investigator has their handy, trusty recorder. Ah, yeah. yes. I never use for mine. EV you don't use yours? Oh, you're not that good then. That's <laughs> oh, a, now we know who to talk to. So. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, I no, feel no, like no, no, she's no. much better with the equipment. No, that's good. Yeah, And yeah. then the dousing rods, of course, and yeah. he's pretty good with those. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think Kelly's better if, if it's a one-on-one. -on -one. I use the dowsing rods like if we're going to um, a private investigation. Okay. And basically, um, you can kind of determine where the energy is coming from. And this right. goes back to the Georgia case. Um, there was... So there was a psychic who had um, determined that there was some energy line in the backyard. Okay. And that possibly... Things were going in and out of this energy line. Portal, so, yeah, yeah basically. Um, so what we did is we started, Kelly had her set and I had mine, and we started at the front of the house. And we let the rods take us to where they want to go, right. they, usually by pointing forward. Gotcha. And if you if you go the wrong way, they'll yeah, open wide, out, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So, you know, we're heading back, and this they have this huge pool in the backyard, which is very close to that energy line. So we're like, oh, crap, it's taking us to the pool. You right. Because they're used for divining water, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So <laughs> yeah. we're like, oh, yeah. crap. So, yeah. you know, we get to the backyard, and it's not taking us to the pool. Wow. It took us directly to this line. So Kelly and I moved forward, and when we would cross the line, it would the open. rods would flip back behind oh, us. Oh, wow. And we did this over and over. We would cross the line, you know, moving forward, and they'd turn around and point in the opposite direction. And mm. quickly, too, not, they just would, like, flip right around. Right. And we did this multiple times back and forth, and yeah. it always took us to and the exact same spot. Magnetic or? Not that we could determine. There weren't, uh -huh. um, there weren't power lines under there. It wasn't yeah. the line for their pool. Well, not, not to mention, I don't, what are these made of? The copper? Is copper. That, yeah, so they're magnetic wouldn't matter anyways. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can you do those anywhere? The, the dowsing rods? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Do we want to... People use them for whatever. Do we yeah. want to see if we got a ghost here? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> a, I, this, this, does it work? This, like, I've never I, seen this Actually, this building, this building isn't as bad. Next door, I bet you, has some uh, some crazy stuff know, going. It's crazy energy. Are you serious? Energy. Because sure I feel a little creepy next door. Next door this way has definitely got some energy. Dude, I did some some, like real rookie stuff over there like i was just like demons come out eh? yeah this guy this guy that's the problem so he does stuff like his videos like you do these we'll do these 24-hour challenges yeah, where he's like candle. In and he's like summonsing demon and i'm pissed you know yeah. i'm like shut up you I know had a and we've, and and we've had a couple crazy like shit. you know hey we're full of animals here right mm -hmm. so there's gonna be noises yeah but one time we're at 3 a.m Oh, and, and we've been for hours, we've been sitting around no, nothing, you know, just like, you know, this you hear creepy. the cage, you know, stuff like that. All of a sudden he starts to, with this, like, yeah. you know, show yourself, blah, blah, blah. And, yeah. and we hear these huge bangs, 
Huge bangs. Now, listen, I'm sure they were animals, but just the timing was, it was unbelievable. Timing. It was unbelievably bad. But but uh, but th this building here, the next building over, <laughs> has had a, a, a sketchy past, let's just say, uh, uh, where like the sloth is and stuff like that, the mm -hmm. basement, and well, the upstairs and the basement and stuff like that. It's had a, kind of a sketchy past where there was, there was like a brothel here. There was... Uh, <laughs> you um, know, that brings ghosts. Yeah, yeah. Well, there was a, a lot of emotion. Yeah, you right, know, right. there's a lot of emotion going on <laughs> in this building. <laughs> right. Well, you know, but people... Emotion. Yeah, I mean... They, it got raided, you know, got shut down. A you know, I mean, there's been all kinds of weird stuff. So, so we, let's uh, see if the rods yeah. point towards right. that place. Well, yeah. I, I will have to say that you have a lot of aquariums and stuff in oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so it's going to be oh, good. We may yeah. get a lot of false positives. Yeah, you know, no, I have to no, put that no, out no. there. No, but, I understand. Um, so basically, when you're using the rods, it's best to stand up, but then I won't be able to talk. Yeah, yeah. So you want to be very steady, and we hold them just with our fingertips. Sorry, yeah. Kelly. My so, eye and then, <laughs> you know, once they, she's, she's possessed. Once they kind of find their spot, you know, then we follow them. Now, right. if we're doing something with a client and asking specific questions, like we had... Um, at the lighthouse last year we were using the rods and asking all kinds of questions and it was we were getting you know negative responses on right. everything no 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 so finally we're like are you here to speak with somebody one of our guests and if so could you point to that person and immediately the rods you know crossed and pointed to wow. a specific person so then what we would do is um ask specific questions that only that person would know right just to rule out one, to rule out something that shouldn't be communicating. Right. And two, to rule out false positives. Sure. So um, she was able to figure out who was communicating. It was very specific. It was very emotional. Mm. Uh, you know, that was a great experience. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, so again, you just... Do you ask yeah, just questions? Can. Yeah, you can. And, you know, and once you get control over ask them... Ask about us. Oh, shit. Ask about his best friend. Oh gosh! See, oh wait, maybe we shouldn't. No, I don't know. We want to That's go true. down we don't that want, path. We don't want. We don't want him to, to be around. And you are the one who would actually have to ask the yeah, questions. Yeah, I don't if know. It's, it's, it's okay. So yeah, I had a a a friend of mine that um, died when I was younger, and um, but yeah, he was not. I, he was paranormal. He was supernatural. Yeah, he did things that were um, not of this world. Let's say, and and okay. and, and, and I. I pretty sure that what I mean by that is not of this world in a good way uh not in a good way not in a bad way um yeah just just yeah very uh, you know still to this day all these years later I'm still scared to know where he is you know because uh he that's he, a good he, point he had we a lot of energy that. that was uh he was the only person that I knew that could like move things with his mind oh, wow you know wow. And, and and witnessed by a dozen people and do things that were ridiculous that's I mean crazy. like ridiculous um, but I, I, I just feel that it wasn't from like some great source of energy, you know, it was a, it was a pretty negative source and, okay. and, uh, he, he took his life and said he was going back to where he belonged. And, uh, that, that was pretty scary stuff. So, yeah. but anyways, and actually the anniversary to that just was a few days, right. just about a week and a half ago. So oh. Halloween season is always a little tricky, you know, and, yeah. uh, uh, when, trick when or that treat. Comes, trick or treat. Yeah. It's more, George more, more trick, feet. more trick than treat when it comes to him. But, uh, but right. thankfully I have not seen him since <laughs> I, I, but it's something that yeah, I we probably shouldn't myself. do a thousand rows from them. No, right. no, 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 and, no. You know, we're more point. than happy to, after the show, around let you guys try them out oh if you'd gosh. like i don't so, know so no, like, you can play I heard with that the same, shit i know right i've heard the <laughs> same stuff about the dowsing rods as i have the ouija, the board. ouija board they're both That's divining true. tools right okay. yeah it's See, interesting I wanna, right you i want to know i want to know is there a test i can take to see if i'm uh if i got the touch if i got the magic ghost touch <laughs> the magic if that makes sense <laughs> like if i can you know, sensitives or whatever. Yeah, I, I, I know, know there are some that have taken tests, but I don't know. Like, I want to go to. I want to be tested because, mm -hmm. like, what if I have the ability and well, I, I just maybe, am not I, using it? I think it. that a lot of people have ability if you open yourself up. That I think that's the thing is I think that much like I said, I think that there was a good. You know, I think that from and I'm no expert in this, but I've heard that you know it kind of runs in family lines, mm -hmm. much like you talked about. Um, you know, I had some some relatives that were you know whatever and that was back you know again 60 70 years ago mean? when it was almost like you're a witch you know what does it uh, mean? know whatever you know just that could communicate we with had the other relatives side. that yeah, did yeah. that yeah 
How yeah, come so. I never heard of this? Yeah, because I don't talk about it much. And, and Helt, it, it, this was actually interesting. It, it was a weird deal. My godmother, Ann Helcher, who is now like in her 90s, still alive, she, everyone in the family knew that she had abilities. She could, you know, foresee things. She would like predict things that were going to happen in the future and stuff like that. And and everyone knew about it. And, and weirdly enough, about seven or eight months ago, I haven't talked to her in for like years, right? Yeah. She's, she's old and haven't talked to her. I don't think she has a phone. I mean, I have no idea how you even get in touch with her. But anyways, I hadn't thought about it for years. And, and one morning I wake up and I had a dream that she died. You know, and she came to me saying that she had that, but she came to me in her young state. Okay. This is what's weird. Literally no connection with this family. That day, her daughter called Lori. And I thought, if freaking Aunt Helcher died today, I am going to freak the hell out. It turned out that it had nothing to do with Aunt Helcher dying. She's still alive and great. But how weird was that? I mean, it was years yeah. since we heard from that family. And the right. day that she called... That day, as a matter of fact, I told Lori about it before her daughter called. Right. And oh. and she was like, she goes, I just missed a call. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, no. But, uh, but so anyways, my point is, is that I think that there's no doubt that I was, you know, I mean, I was definitely, either I was unfortunate when I was young and just had a lot of experience or I was sensitive. Uh, but I think as you get older, you know, again, a lot of people kind of, you know, much like I told you, you start to just discount. Right those experiences and like, ah, no, I was just a kid. You know, it doesn't make any sense, you know? And, and, you know, we've seen the opposite as well, where people have moved forward with their natural gifts, yeah, you know, and, and turn them into something that, you know, they could either use to help people yeah, or uh, to understand a little bit better. But I think a lot of the calls that we get for residentials, sometimes there is somebody there, like the Georgia case, where somebody is manifesting that it's, mm. it can be to the person Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I went down to the uh, St. Augustine Lighthouse once. That mm -hmm. was a great. Ex have you guys been? No, that's on my list, though. It's a super cool place. Cool. And, and what was really cool when I was there was I was able to be there alone. So I was in the lighthouse. And of course, there's a basement uh, to the building where there's a museum, you know, for the lighthouse. And, and to be honest with you, the, the lighthouse was super cool and creepy, but I didn't feel anything. But when I was in the basement alone, by the way, and I was able to like turn the lights out, it was daytime, so it wasn't pitch dark. But, but it, you know, because there were some windows that let a little bit of light in. That was freaky. The, the actual, the basement there felt much more cre creepy than the lighthouse itself, you know. Right, but yeah. but I think they probably both have a lot of history. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, and, and I think, too, that you, you need to go with your intuition. You know, if you're feeling it, then, you know, go with it. Um, and back to what you were saying before about how, you know, it's inherited or whatever. I, I honestly believe that most people are born with some kind of... yeah skills or whatever gifts. you want to call them gifts yes yeah. and it's you know like you said as as they get older if they don't use them they kind of lose them yeah um and some people take advantage of that and and you know continue to use them throughout their life um you know some people you know may have them and don't really use them they go away and and i honestly believe doing what we do um, it kind of kind of reawakens a little bit of that because yeah. I would mm -hmm. say I'm a little more sensitive to things now than I was, you know, before we started right. doing this all the time. And what got you started? I mean, what what made you go from like we're just weird, just weird. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, well, I, honestly, for me, um, I've always kind of been interested in it, mm -hmm. um, and I kind of have some history too with my family um, and things, but. Um, it was one of those darn shows mm. on Travel Channel. <laughs> this Travel um, Channel shows. Yeah. <laughs> They've spawned a whole yeah. generation. But but th there's one in particular that I, I really was drawn to, um, and it was all about literally helping people. Okay, yeah. And I thought, you know, uh, this is very interesting, and I like to help people. I want to help people. Yeah. I, I can do this. Yeah. So that's kind of, you know, we started talking, and we're like, yeah, what are we going to do for a hobby? And we're like, oh, let's go ghost hunting. No. Yeah. <laughs> and we did. So, yeah. yeah. And we, yeah. we've always been like, okay, hey, the next scary movie's coming out. You ready? Yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. we we like to do different things. Sure. You know, so, and usually it involves something paranormal and some sort of alcohol. <laughs> um, <laughs> so what could go wrong with that? Yeah, that unless sounds we're, like a sa every unless Saturday we're on night, a, yeah. a team thing, you know, yeah, but sure. you know, we'll sit around and have drinks and watch some scary show or That's podcast or whatever. Yeah. Scariest show you've ever seen. Movie? Movie. Yeah. Um, scariest movie. One that shook you like, you know, holy shit. A long time ago, I would have said the ring. 
Yeah, that the ring was is probably yeah. the only one oh, that that's so scared creepy. me. So but creepy. I would say I don't know what number it is. It was one of the conjurings. I it was agree. the one where they go to the house as orphans. I, oh, I think okay. it may be the third yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, that I one agree. was Annabelle. Possibly. That one was not only creepy, it was it had a little bit more of the gore in there, which I don't like. Right. You know, I love anything supernatural, spooky, creepy. Mm. Yeah. It can be demonic related or angels yeah. or whatever you want, but I don't like like the slasher movies. Yeah. But yeah. that one I think probably like I jumped in my seat more than I normally would. Yeah. That's like my but favorite I would watch it again. series is like the conjuring. Yeah, Cause like they have the list. It's like probably a dozen by now Yeah, of all mm-hmm. the conjuring series. Like, Oh my goodness. They just yeah. really right. nail them every time. Every time you're getting spooked. Yeah. Again, you know, it's it, like I said, it's, it's interesting how it started with the couple that, you know, probably was almost chastised for 20 years. Probably, and then all of a sudden yeah. they became, you mm-hmm. know, the, the, you know, they've, spawned a golden right. child yeah. it's, it's unbelievable and it's a shame that they're not here to to to, to enjoy it right. i guess you know but uh, uh it's uh do you think they had any uh any fans like while they were old in their days i think in the old days yeah. for sure they were Absolutely. probably the most famous ever in yeah. the older time probably not in the beginning so they still got to experience like the fame if you will you know what i mean while they yeah. were alive I'm sure oh, they yeah. did. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, she, especially she the was rain. On yes. Penn State quite a bit, and yeah. then she does a lot of things. Right. Or she did with Chip Coffee. Yeah, yeah. Chip so Coffee's she, another yeah. crazy one. That's yeah. another one. I, I know, actually like him though. Kind of like, like, you know, the, the founding fathers of paranormal investigation. Yeah. I would think. Yeah. So I don't know. What's your scariest movie? Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, The Conjuring's are pretty good. They are. Yeah. Good. All of those are especially pretty good. because we've met some of the family members yeah. and we've heard those stories. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know well, what think, went on. So then yeah. it, it just becomes a little I more think, real. I think I any that. movie that is somewhat based in fact is is, right. is 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 you know like you said The Conjuring, the Amityville Horror, the Entity. You know the old mm-hmm. old show, The Entity. This guy. You know. You, this is what he used to do to me as a kid. Okay. <laughs> I every used to say, every movie, movie we watched. I'm every a, movie. I'm a kid. Every movie. Like, no, this is based on a true story. I'm watching It'd Toy Story. It'd be like Story. Toy Story. I'd be <laughs> like, like, this is oh based on a true story. Oh, my goodness, true story. <laughs> I did say that a lot. And that's I'm how sorry. you develop trust issues. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it's, yeah, that's, that's why he's in therapy now. <laughs> no, I'm not. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink. But uh, uh, I wanted to ask you guys a question about this like 10 minutes ago. Was We were talking kind of more uh, touch, uh, in touch, uh, sensitive. Do you, do you believe that the people that like put the blindfold on and like they'll have like the headphones on and they'll be like in a different room, right? Yesty's method. Yeah. yeah and yeah. Uh, they're like communicating through that person. Like that's what I kind of mean when I'm like, I want to figure out if I can do that. We do that we regularly. Do Oh, yeah, awesome. we even have the blindfold. So, really? you know, well, we tried perfect. it out a couple of years ago. Kelly's like, look what I bought. And she shows me these black silk blindfolds. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, like, oh, what are, you, what are we doing? Like, what are you guys? <laughs> yeah. Kelly, I don't sing yeah. that way. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, That's so good. we've tried it out. And um, I think the best one was when our team was at the Dearborn house, remember? And you're like, go over and touch Judy. And I, yeah. <gasps> and I have a blindfold on and earphones, so I can't hear anything. Yeah. And I'm like, what the? You know what's no. going on, and they're laughing. Oh gosh! <laughs> oh, they're yeah. laughing. And oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah but so she's, yeah. I always tell them to touch her. You can touch her. Yeah, T- just always. Touch her. Oh yeah. my gosh! Yeah, no, that's. Uh, oh, and so you, oh my goodness, and you get stuff. See, like that's the stuff that our guy behind the booth, Jay, he's super skeptic, like to the point where. I don't even know. Yeah, he's calling a, bullshit on all of this right yeah, now. Yeah, if a ghost slapped him in the face or if an EVP <laughs> said, Jay Tomsky is alive. But for the record, like, he doesn't believe alive. in aliens either. So what kind of guy can he be? Right. Yeah, well, that's a little different. But nah, come on now. But still, um, I want to do that. So you guys are taking me on an investigation. Sure. Yeah, sure. Then we would love to. Yeah, I mean, seriously, at some point, we'd love to do that. I, I you know, I, I get a little more freaked out than than probably he does with this stuff i guess because of my past experiences being so dark you know yeah. I, I haven't had any good experience mm-hmm. right. so uh so it, yeah, it, it makes true. me scary a little more scared and, of that and i stuff. think it's a little bit of both we've seen some crazy stuff and we've seen some scary things but you know then then we have the ones that are heartwarming too so yeah. it's nice it's definitely nice when we can help a family yeah, right and i think that's pat, again pat. the thing like we talked about with the shows uh on tv now you know it, it's it's good and bad, you know, it's brought a whole generation into, you know, even the movies like the Conjuring series, you know, it brought a whole new generation into wanting to help people. And it's a shame because I think that those initial uh, 
paranormal shows were all about really helping people mainly. Mm -hmm. They did a lot of houses and families and stuff. Now they hardly ever do that. You right. know what I mean? Now it's almost always like, you it's know, mental institute. Yeah, yeah. It become entertainment. And it's, uh, it's, I guess it's, I mean, if it's bringing positive exposure, who cares? Right. Mm -hmm. But it is a little bit disappointing because again, I talked about our really my, you know, the, you know, the paranormal state and then ultimately ghost hunters, the first season in particular, it was all about like their whole mission statements were here. As a matter of fact, they, they put a, a, a little clip together, a montage together at one point in just like season three or something like that, that it was every time they answered the door, they said, we're here to help. Like every single time that grant guy mm -hmm. who, who ended up, I'm sure you guys know, he's, he, he had a season of ghost hunters just on yep. a and e yep. which i liked a lot by the way i don't know if it did well because it wasn't sensational and it sounds to me and i don't know any inside information but i would assume that jason and grant split ways because jason went the sensational route and grant was i think was more like hey listen we're here to help people you know but it yeah. was nice like every single investigation when they answer the door the first thing he would say was we're here to help you know, and I like that so much more. I don't get me wrong. I get entertained by ghost mm -hmm, adventures. Mm -hmm. You know, I get entertained by a lot of these shows, but, but I, I don't feel the same, like this is awesome. Yeah. You know, and no, and, and I'm the same way. I, I, I prefer the shows that they help people or they go in and, you know, people are scared or whatever, and they can figure out, you know, what, what's going on there and, yeah. and give them a little bit of peace of mind. Yeah, it's got to be terrifying them. for those mm -hmm. families, you know, that are experiencing something that they just have no, I mean, I know as a child, I was terrified yeah. and I had no one to talk to, you know, and, and no one to help me, you know? So, um, you know, that, that, that to me is, it's much like we do here with animals, right? We want to educate people about mm -hmm. animals. We want to turn something that people are afraid of much ghosts and, and reptiles, yeah. <laughs> snakes. And, uh, we want to turn, uh, people that are afraid of snakes into snake lovers, or at least not fearful. Right. And, uh, and I'm sure in some cases that's the tr truth too. If you have maybe a, a, a positive haunt or whatever, you know, maybe not fearing it is a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. If it's not doing damage, you know, or something like that, like right. you said, do you want the family member to maybe stick around or something? Do you have any advice for people that may be experiencing something at home and maybe yeah. they want yeah. some what relief? Yeah, yeah, that's a great and question. You can't go to them personally, yeah. and maybe they or or for that matter, what do what what are the first steps? Yeah. You know, like I mean, you're, you're experiencing. Did I reach? I mean, reaching out to you people. I mean, how? What? Right. Let's take us through that. There's a family. It's, you know experiences what what do they do now well again typically they kind of reach out to us or another team and we'll go through our list of questions and things we might say look you know you know maybe you want to check into this maybe again it's something within the home or something that is not paranormal um so that's kind of the first step is to make sure it's not paranormal right um and once you know they've tried everything they can they don't think they think it is paranormal they need help. Um, we'll come out. We'll check out the the house. We'll you know do an interview with them, kind of find out what's going on, what the history is. Um, Judy's really good. She like once we have a home investigation, she'll do the background history mm. on the location, the yeah. home, the owners, the you know. We go back lands. as far as we can, right? Yep, yeah, to sure. get any type of history. Yep. Um, and we we gather all of all of the information we can to go in there with an intelligent purview of what mm -hmm. we want to do there. Right. Um, and it just kind of depends on the family, how we approach the investigation. Right. Um, what we do a lot of times um, we kind of do the investigation. And I think a lot of the teams do this. They do the investigation again, you know, on shows you see it, they, they do all the recordings, they do all of that. And then they go back and go through it. Right. You know, mm. like you were saying, you yeah. did your EVP and caught something later. Yeah. So we do that. Um, we ask them to give us a couple, three weeks. We go back, we review pictures, video, um, recordings we've right. done, yeah. anything like that. Um, try to come to a conclusion on, you know, what we think is going on, who it might be yeah. there if it is paranormal. Mm -hmm. um, and then we kind of go back to the family, provide our findings, yeah. see what they want us to do. Mm. You know, is it, you know, something you can live with? You know, it's, you right. know, it's. Well, the one house we did, it was like what we found out. It was like the the grandpa or something, right? And and we were just like... At you, Westland? I Westland? think so. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, we yeah. kind of determined based on the this information we received and the evidence we got grandpa. that it was, you know, grandpa was just hanging out. He, he wasn't doing anything. They weren't mm -hmm. scared. They just wanted to know who was there. So was right. 
was that more like the residual thing or do you think it was intelligent? Um, I think it was intelligent because I think okay. we got the name. Um, we got some EVPs mm-hmm. right. and um, basically, you know, it was just grandpa checking in on him because the, yeah. the family had right. moved into his house when he passed away. And do you believe that, again, this is speculative, yeah. but so do you think that grandpa Mima over there is just like in... Just like in the corner or something, just chilling, watching back, like, ah, look at my beautiful family, <laughs> blah, 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 overseeing. or just like chilling, or, yeah. or like, do you have any thoughts through your research and all these uh, investigations that you've done, do you have any clue of what you think Grandpa Mima's doing? So <laughs> you know the reason I mean? that they're there, yeah. basically, yeah. is what you're asking? Why yeah, they're yeah, hanging yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, why, I don't know, yeah, I don't know water, why. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of mean, like, I guess, why? What are they doing? Like, wh- it, yeah. And I, I think that there's multiple answers mm-hmm. to that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, sometimes it could just be that um, it was their home. They're comfortable there. That's where they want to be. Yeah. So their family's weird. there. It's yeah. so weird. Yep, their family's there. Um, some other times, I think, um, and, and I don't know, I I've been told that my great grandmother who pretty much helped raise me when I was younger, she comes and visits sometimes, Yeah, you know, or she just kind of checks in with me and says, every now and then, yeah, to make sure things are okay. Um, we were actually at Eloise and there was a medium there and she was like, Oh, your grandma and grandpa are here. And and she, before she basically described them to a T and she said, well, this is why they're here. You know, they're just checking in. They want to let you know that they're always watching over you. Okay. And, you know, and she basically describes, she would never have known that a couple of weeks before that, my daughter had graduated from college and we had like a little party together and they're like, oh, you had a party a couple of weeks ago. They were there. They just want, want to let That's you know awesome. that they were there. That's you nice. know, so I, I think there's a little bit of both things that they can, you know, come and go and, and check on family or, you know, somebody they care about. But then again, I think sometimes it's because they were just happy in that place and, and they want to stay there because yeah. it, it just meant so much to them. Right. right. And so these mediums, um, they can see physically or is it mentally? It's all different. Yeah, it depends there's, on there's the medium. so many different ways. So, you, so there's like people that are just chilling right here and they can just see somebody right there. Yep. Some can see, some can feel, some can like hear the conversation in their head. Yeah. Um, there's awesome. so many different forms of mediums. So we have a couple yeah. of friends and I'd say every one of them operates differently. Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. That's what I'm trying to figure Stephanie out. Stephanie asked, uh, what your thoughts were on using Sage? Uh, you guys kind of covered that a little bit. You use yeah, different um, things. You know, Sage isn't my go-to. Okay. Um, I, I think Sage <laughs> is kind of like the all around universal okay. home cleansing, but okay. Sage is basically just to give your house like a nice clean energy. Okay. So if we're dealing with something that maybe is more negative or maybe, um, you know, there's some trauma or animosity in the home, we may put different things together. So I have a couple of go-tos that I would use and it all depends on the situation. So sometimes I'll mix something up specifically for the family members. Sometimes it's for the home. Um, It it can be a variety of things, but we have, (laughs) we have, White the apothecary. Yeah. <laughs> she, she's like the mixologist. Of yeah, yeah. yeah. Herbs, my husband. Yeah. I come home and he's like, "Oh my god, you're gonna be like this crazy old witch one day." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, "Yep." That, that's awesome. Though. That's good. Yeah. You know, it, it's funny. I uh, we have family that are Native American, and um, and and so we've been up to the reservation up in Traverse, Sutton's Bay, and uh, it, it's like you go there you can feel an energy mm-hmm. i mean it's like what is that and number one and yeah. and then you know there's actually interestingly enough there's a, a small hotel that uh my brother and sister used to work at they're half native american and um and they uh they used to always say that there was the white lady there right like not not like white skin but in white clothing and um and, and everyone at the hotel had always a small hotel had had experienced it and when noah was a baby we went up there because uh, a family friend passed away and uh, and again i remember driving at like one in the morning back to the hotel by myself i had dropped my brother off at his house and and driving back to the hotel myself and it was so creepy driving on this reservation i mean literally i was alone in the car and it just felt like the oppressiveness energy was 
ridiculous. And I remember getting into the hotel and it was like empty, right? I mean, there's only, there's only one floor and it's a row. It's just like the, 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 you know, whatever, you know, the, the shining feeling, you know, right. you're walking down the hall, like, oh my God, I'm going to die here. <laughs> Let me just get my room. I get room. But what, interestingly enough, my, I'd say, uh, my, my wife who is not a skeptic, but certainly more pragmatic. You like know, she, she never did. talks about experiences. If we bring yeah. it up, she's like phony that phony. Yeah. this, Like that's and, not real. And, but she said that she woke up that night and, uh, and Noah was a baby, so we had him in a, a, a little carriage in the room, you know, a little playpen. And uh, she woke up that night, and there was an old lady looking into the carriage, you know, at him. And uh, and, and so so I was like... So this is why I kind of freaked out when he said lady in white, mm -hmm. was because I knew this story, obviously. Yeah. And I always think I see a lady, a, a lady, I see a lady, a lady <laughs> in white. Like in the corner of my eye, I always see Maybe it. Maybe she's I had, still checking up on you since you were a baby. I've had this dream when I, since I was young, that <clears throat> I'm in my house. I'm like walking down the st uh, towards the stairs, mm -hmm. and a lady in white flies up the stairs at me, and then it like jump scares me awake. Yeah, I didn't I know she wonder. was wearing white. Yeah, <laughs> is it? I wonder if it like fucking sucked in my soul or something. I have no idea. So but wait, when you're seeing it, you're seeing it from a negative viewpoint. I'm like, so like it will be like if, okay, I know it sounds fucking crazy, but whatever. I'm going into it. So if like in particular, in like my back room, we have this back room, okay, and there's like this chair, and there's like the stuff. I always think I see something there okay but everyone always tells me i'm fucking crazy so i'm like i'm fucking crazy and i'm telling you i just like always think i'm seeing a woman in white in a white dress like and again it's always peripheral if i look there's nothing there but it's just like i'm always seeing it yeah but it scares you or, I mean, I, mean you're not, I don't you're feel not good. I'm, run, by it. I'm okay. running from it. So, it's nighttime. I'm running up the stairs. Going, yeah. <laughs> so what is what are your thoughts on that? I want to see if they're the same as what I'm thinking. Well, I, I'm just thinking it, it's possibly you are seeing something out of the side of your, you know, side vision. Um, I'm thinking it's maybe just somebody that's watching out for you or, you know, I mean, if you are, you know, Native American, they have a lot of, you know, spirits that are you know watch over them and they're very native americans are very spiritual people like you were saying how it's different on um you know the reservation and and i i have a little bit of native american in in my background too and i i don't think it's anything you need to be afraid of uh yeah yeah i mean i always put it down to there's this thing <clears throat> scientists i don't know the term for it but they say that like in peripheral vision and stuff, you can create shapes and stuff mm -hmm. just with your brain. Right. Yeah, so that's thing, yeah. always. So that goes back to the manifestation. Right. The, you know. Yeah. So that's what I usually key it to just, I guess, to make myself feel better. Right. It's <laughs> not well, just like a lady in white. <laughs> what we would suggest for this situation is address it. Be like, hey, lady. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, yeah. one right. thing that, never done that is very important to our team is respect. You know, Good we've point. gone into some really negative energy, some bad situations, yep. and we always go in with respect. We sure. are not stupid. We do not provoke. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, just say, what are you here for? You're scaring yeah, me. Could you the, leave? Bring the yeah. dowsing rods. Nah. Yeah. Maybe the EVP. Maybe, I Sometimes like that's, that's all you have to do is ask it to leave. Yeah. That it's, you know, yeah. Just say, yeah, hey, you're totally scaring me. Chat. I need you to leave. I want a friend, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it would definitely be. Uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens Wouldn't in the house. I don't know. I, I don't. So I don't know. I, we're gonna it's, get it's into almost, it. It's almost like I almost don't want to know, really, to right. be honest yeah. with you, because it would feel weird. And so I, I you know, but I, it, it's, I just still find it bizarre. There's a few how, things, and guess what? Going back to the lady. This wasn't even me. Okay, <laughs> this wasn't even me. This was my friend. I picked him up from the airport. It was nighttime. I was driving him back home. We live in a, at the end of a cul-de-sac, so our house is a. In a cold set. So we're coming down the street and my friend goes, dude, oh, yeah, I remember why that. is your, your mom just like walked into your room, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, I cause don't you know, can maybe. see the upper stairs through. We have a big transom yeah. window, you know, above the stair, you know, so you can yeah. see the balcony. So while you know? we're, okay. Yeah. While we we're coming down, he's like, dude, I think I just saw your mom walk in your room. I was like, that's no big deal. It's whatever. We walked downstairs 
And my mom and dad are just like in the living room. Yeah. And those he are the only people. He also has the same friend that said there. that one time he walked out of the basement or out of the bathroom. That's like kind of on the thing. And he saw someone walking down the stairs. Mm-hmm. And we were already in bed and there was no one else yeah. in the house. Was so, uh, yeah. So we always, we have a spare room that, that we always say is that's <laughs> a lot of noises come from that spare room. That's where which I was grew his, up. Yeah. Which is, was his, his, his childhood room. So he moved into the, the bigger room. Uh, when my get daughter moved away, from the ghosts. get away from the ghosts. <laughs> but, but I don't were, think yeah. it worked, by the way. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, Rebecca uh, said that she loves watching this. Also, she's a paranormal investigator and she lives in Toledo, uh, Iowa. So there yes. you go, Rebecca. Enjoy. You, Rebecca. Uh, I'm glad that you joined us here. And like I, I said, didn't know I, she was an investigator. She tunes in all the time. Does she? Well, yeah, there you go. she's in like all the uh, podcasts and stuff. We got to go visit her and uh, we got to do an investigation. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's definitely something that I, you know, I, I, I you know, oh gosh, like I said, yeah, you don't I respect, I it. respect it and, and, but there You're is that little, it. yeah, because of my past experiences that, yeah. you know, I've yet to have a, 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 a positive experience. experience with paranormal, but I respect people. And that brings me, do you guys ever get afraid, scared? I mean, or is it just like level headed? You're not going to be afraid. I, I think we're pretty level headed. And again, we're always respectful and we go in there with a lot of common sense. Mm -hmm. Um, And if there's ever a situation that we either can't handle or are truly afraid, then we walk away, you know, Mm. and and luckily we really haven't had to do that. We do, um, you know, corroborate with another team. So sometimes when we're just not sure, we may kind of bounce things off of this other team and, you know, um, that always helps. How did that go down? You said you you did walk away from a place before, a, we, a well, house before? This is a couple of years ago at Grand Ledge. Yeah, we didn't oh. walk away. Though. Well, well we no, we did it. walk away, but we, we had to kind of stop in yeah. mid-investigation and just kind of, you know, Take a gather beat. our yeah. thoughts. You know, we conferred with um, some people that had actually trained Kelly and I. Mm-hmm. Um, we went down to Kentucky a couple of years ago and we, we did this whole training thing. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Yeah. So, you know, we called and we had some questions and, um, they gave us some good advice and how to move forward. And, you know, we kind of had, okay, here's a, and here's B mm-hmm. start with a, if yeah. a doesn't work, you have to do B and that's not going to be easy. So of course, oh, we're like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's always you know, something yeah, you want to see. Yeah. You know, we're, we're still kind of newbies at this point. Yeah, you know, okay. we had learned a lot you know, in, in the short time that we had been doing this, because that's one thing we are constantly learning. Sure. Constantly learning. Um, we don't think we're experts at anything, no. you know, we're, like, we're no we don't is. ever want to be cocky in that way. Um, but you know, luckily eight took care of it and <laughs> we yeah, didn't right. have to go to B. Oh, good. Yeah. But yeah, we, you know, we were thinking, boy, yeah. are we going to be able to do this? Yeah, the power of Christ compels you. Yeah. <laughs> it's holy water. <laughs> right. Oh, <laughs> yep. yep. uh, gosh. That's another movie, right? The Exorcist yeah. that is mm-hmm. like based on a true story. I mean, you know, now how, how true, true, who knows, you know, how much did Hollywood go? But, but I mean, I mean, by all accounts, it was they, pretty, pretty, pretty much. In, uh, they you know, have the pictures of that. Exorc- like the exorcist from the exorcist, right? Like those are real pictures, supposedly, or are those manufactured? You know, I, I, don't, I, know I, don't, know. I don't know if there's any actual because it was done by like the Catholic Church, and I don't I, they bury a lot of that mm-hmm. stuff. I don't know what, but I know like you can go to the staircase that the, the father jumped down, yeah. like literally, it's there in Washington D.C. You know, J- Jay, punch that picture up. His head. Um, bent. It's uh, the uh, exorcist stairway. It's a creepy ass place, man. Yeah, it's in the staircase, uh, Washington D.C. Yeah, you can probably see. It. Yeah, there okay, it is. Yeah, yeah, there's the there's the actual staircase right there, which is pretty similar to really what you saw in the movie. Really, you know. Yeah. And I love this picture down here with the Joker. I mean, it can't possibly be on the same staircase, <laughs> but that's uh that's uh that's that's what you get when you Google stuff. But um, uh, but that's gotta be crazy. I'd like to go to that place one day and just kind of uh hop an EVP. Wow. What's up, Pastor? Yeah. But uh so basically what we're what you guys like we we were talking about a little bit earlier with demons and stuff. You think there's like a like you you haven't really experienced any like figures like like a demon just chilling in the hallway like what's up? No. No, you never no, seen that. No, Me neither, and, but and, you yeah. think it's rare to see demons. I, I think it's like, it's extremely rare to run in any kind of real demon type activity. Okay. Um we haven't I don't know that we know anybody that actually has. Okay. Sometimes um, we get calls. You know, there's a yeah. demon in our house. There's really? multiple. Yeah, and it's yeah, it's always something. Different. As we yeah. said before, sometimes it can just be some really bad energy. 
like know, the manifestations and or stuff. just you know or a spirit that has yeah. just yeah. some really negative energy yeah, yeah 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 but never yeah, i mean a demon good and negative spirits feed off of energy so yeah. whether it's a good spirit and they're feeding off your happy energy or mm -hmm. a negative spirit and you know they Feeding get their off. energy from scaring you. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. uh, either way, it's energy. They don't care. Ooh. So, right. you know. Yeah. Man, so me running up the stairs scared is bad. Probably should well, stop think, doing I think, that. I think that's the thing, right? I think right? we should address it. Yeah. yeah. That's what, yeah. I, well, that's what yeah. I think. I think that fear is something that really gives energy to to, mm -hmm. to these to that world. When you see you're yeah. afraid of it, it seems to come up more. Right. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Again, you know, these manifestations do need energy to go from that world to our world to cross over, so to speak. And if you give them whatever energy you have, that's the fear is the worst thing you could probably give them. And, and, yeah. and that's, that's gotta be tough to try to keep yourself under control when you know you're in a place that has, you know, not just the house stuff you go to, but when you go to these, like you said, deposit, you know, reformity or whatever yeah. the heck there, I mean, you know, those are, are yeah. haunted because of, yep. of the past history. That's, right. That's yeah. that's just next level stuff right. there, you yeah. know. Just like when I was at the St. Augustine Lighthouse, you know, you know that there's something there, and it's like it's everything in you not to be afraid. You know, the right. curiosity is there, but then the fear yeah. is is just as there, you know. And that's I think one reason that I I talk about respect. We don't want to provoke. Yeah. yeah. And and when we were at the reformatory, I mean, the, the thing that with that was it was all total respect with the spirits that are there, uh, because. I can't imagine the stuff they had to deal with, yeah. you know, in that prison, um, yeah. the conditions they had, the, I mean, cause the cells and everything are still there and they're tiny. They're like six by eight. Yeah. And you know, it's just like, you know, we're sorry for what you had to go through and you know, we hope that you're happy in the afterlife and yeah, a little you know, empathy goes yeah, a long way. Yeah. Yeah. It's so. yeah. It's just like Gettysburg, right? I mean, it's like, you know, the, yep. all, you know, so much paranormal stuff happens in Gettysburg. Have you guys been out there yet or no? We have uh, not. We've I've got been. a whole list. That's our list. Yeah. yeah. yeah we've I've never yeah. seen anything there, but I've been. Yeah. There's so much good footage online with that. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, you know, who I, I find, I've heard over and over again, that's disappointing is Salem. That's what I've heard. I've heard what that it's it? really not that cool. Really? That it's it's not as interesting as you think. And, and from the paranormal side, most people think it's kind of just a tourist trap, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Like when you go there. I don't know. Have you, you know? Yeah. No, that, again, Salem. that's another. Sleepy Hollow. Yeah. Sleepy um, Hollow. Oh, yeah. Sleepy that, Hollow. Was, it was very cool. It that's got to be cool. cool. But no, I, we haven't made it to Salem. And uh, when the you, next big trip we really want to do is the Conjuring House. Oh. Now, yeah. where that's is that? That's on our list. Uh, Rhode Island? Yeah. Rhode, Rhode Island. Island. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, do they do tours there? Or they started recently, last <laughs> yeah. summer, or well, yeah, because no, yeah, previous I heard some, to COVID. Some yeah, but previous it's COVID. it's pretty pricey right now. When something yeah. like that comes yeah. up, that you know yeah. you're you're I mean, paying twelve hundred dollars for. So probably. when you were in Georgia, were you in Savannah or were you somewhere else? Because Savannah is supposed to be like the most haunted place in the yeah. in the country, we're, right? We're not allowed to. Yeah. To disclose oh, it's disclosed. Yeah. Okay. You yeah, know, yeah, unfortunately, yeah. yeah. When sometimes if we are called in to help with another team, yeah, there's you gotta confidentiality. No, that that's we totally can't disclose understand. certain things, so we can say Georgia. <laughs> yeah, Georgia. But Savannah is supposed to be amazing, and I hear it's like supposed to be the most haunted place yeah. in, in the country. What they say, anyways, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I th that's New Orleans again, has to be that way though too, oh, yeah. right? New because is pretty awesome, that's yeah. got an energy about it too. Like yeah. I said, I mean, when I've been to Nola, it, it's like. It's just different. Right. You know, you go there and it just feels like you're you're the Aren't same they, thing as the reservation. Isn't yeah. there a bunch of like witchcraft in oh, yeah. there? Yeah. Oh yeah, black voodoo. magic. Like, yeah, yeah, voodoo. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. I spent a week there a couple yeah. years ago with two it was years last now? year. Last year, okay. It's a well, great place. Yeah. yeah. Now what's that about? Like I, obviously I've heard voodoo and witchcraft. I've heard both of those things before. What is that? Like it it is can so you describe you it for about, someone that doesn't know? Like witchcraft and voodoo, it, it, they're basically all the same idea, but maybe a different religion or a different process. Is yeah. my, you think you may want to touch on that uh, a little I, bit more. I think voodoo is a little bit darker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. more into, you know, sacrifice, sacrifice yeah. and doing yeah. things like that. Mm. Um, Do you guys go to the Queen of the Dam uh, tomb or no? No, because the the at that time those that cemetery was closed. Oh, cemetery was, number one. Yeah, uh, they were yeah. refurbishing it. Oh, so we were there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah when we were there, there, though, the that's when the tower fell. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's yeah. Some, yeah no, I, I yeah I, I've been to that that tomb. There's actually two tombs there. It, I, it must people must get confused, mm -hmm. you know, because the, there's the Queen of the Damned, and then there's another one that is 
also has a bunch of things that people think is, and, and it, it's closer to the entrance. So usually you go there and you're like, oh my God, the Queen of the Dam. And then you go deeper and you find, oh crap, that's not it. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah, is, not this, it. is, this yeah. is the actual one. But uh, We only got on the, the outside. It was closed for what Kelly said, they renovations were, yeah, or they something. Were doing renovations, oh, okay, so, yeah. yeah. But wild place, man. You know, yeah. just Nola is just, oh man, it's just so wild, yeah. man. And we were in Waverly. We went to Waverly Hills a couple oh, years no ago. Oh, no kidding. That's dope. That was a great one because yeah. it was the first night they were open for tours. Oh, so, gosh. um, Kelly and I were there. There was a group of 16 that had the entire place oh all night. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah, it was awesome. That's Yeah, that's another one. That's a big one. That's, mm -hmm. that, I mean, so much trauma there, you know, so much negative energy, you know, so it's... Uh, so, like, what so are the people cooking up with the voodoo? Like, you said it's more evil. What are they doing? Well, what, what they're trying they to doing? really cast spells on yeah. other people is what right, they're trying yeah. to do. Right. They're trying yeah. whether it's love spells or mm -hmm. or like you know getting revenge on people. That's what voodoo is about. Right. You know, it's controlling it's, other people. Yeah, you know, and it's very specific. It's you know. I'm sure I don't you've think... seen or heard about the voodoo dolls. You know, you stick pins yeah. in there. Yeah. yeah. Is that real? Do you think that's real? Oh, I I believe. Yeah, I believe that they can do whatever. Yeah, I, I believe that people can cast, yeah. you yeah. know, and hex. And, you know, that's something that I think we've dealt with a little bit. You know, there's things you can do to uncross or unhex. But voodoo, I don't know that we've ever encountered that. And I don't know that if, if that was the case that we would be able to, to help. Yeah, that's... that's, that's, don't, that's we don't have yeah. any experience Is that under there. the same curtain as, like, ghosts? Would people put that, like... like uh, like, I mean, it's I probably still like, paranormal, but it's uh, but it's it's different. It's like a, almost like a religion, really. Yeah, you know? and as oh, you it said, is? it's darker. Yeah. You know, yeah. and there's there's huh. there's witchcraft of you know there's green witches, there's white sure, witches, yeah. there's you know yeah, the dark magic. Research. But yeah. I think it's a little different. I like to think what we do when we when we do anything related to that, it, it's more the green witch level. Green witch. Now, does that so that would be more, more like yes. eco friendly? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's like yeah, recyclable, recyclable. <laughs> you know. It's got yeah. the yeah. yeah. I like the green witch too. See, like now somebody actually, just gifted my mom a bunch of like crystals and stuff. And mm. oh, actually, it was goodness. me that they gifted. Oh, not her. Okay. Oh, I didn't know. You know. Did. But like, yeah, yeah, she, they're yeah, all I mean, over. Them, you know, I know. I saw I've got that a couple. I got like a couple bands. A little band. You've um, got a lot. But um, yeah, yeah. I always call him Johnny Depp because he's got the yeah. bands. Yeah, I lost like a couple actually. I lost a couple. They break when I'm messing with animals. But but yeah, no, I'm a big. I don't know a lot about crystals. I just believe in the energy of, right. of that, you yeah. know, so I don't understand the difference and that between just makes your, or, you know, your crystals more powerful that you yeah. believe in them. But yeah, yeah, yeah. there are, you know, Ooh. there are, you know, certain crystals for certain things. And I, I'd like to think that I have a decent amount of knowledge, but there are thousands and thousands. Yeah. And, you yeah. know, I have worked with crystals a couple of times and, um, like I have a Super 7. When I first got that, I could not even handle it. What, what is, is a Super 7? So oh, it's it's also called a Sacred Stone or a Melody okay. Stone. It's okay. made of seven different crystals. Wow. Okay. And I have a, a nice big chunk of it. So nice. this is, again, when we were kind of learning, and I'm like, I can't even hold this thing. It wow. just makes me jittery and jumpy, and it took a lot oh. of time for me to even be able to handle it. Wow. That's awesome. So, yeah, but, you know, we, we have a lot of things between the two of us, and she's always ordering new things, and I'm getting <laughs> new things. and yeah. But we've learned how to use them, too. Not yeah, everything. Right. There's a, it's always a learning process. Right. But How's we. It? Super seven work like so now you say you can handle it. So what do you do? So with, it? with my super seven, I use that more for. I guess the best way to describe it would be to help myself with what I want to help myself okay. with, I okay. guess, you know, and um, sure. whether I meditate with it mm. or you know, for manifestation, but I yeah. use that for something specifically. That is not yeah. something that I would take with me for protection. I'm going to start so, getting into crystals. Yeah, they're so super, super yeah. dope. I mean, like I said, I've, got a, a I've yeah. got a, we have a bunch of stuff start. and, yeah. and, and, and uh, I'm Kelly excited. Is, Kelly has crystals that she likes. I have crystals that I like. Right. And I think they kind of go with our personality too, okay. which, you know, makes sense. So, yeah, we've, you know, you kind of figure out what you like and what works for you and, I'm excited. Yeah. You know, it always helps to, to research there. what you're buying yeah. and make sure that it works with you and that you don't have a clash of different things right. with different energies. Yeah. So. I carry these around with me every day. I don't even know what they are. Oh, that's They're safe. in my pocket for the last, sounds like, safe. They're in my Is pocket that for the last. <laughs> that, that might be green adventurine. 
Green I've, adventure. I've green. That sounds. Yeah. That sounds good. Well, that that one's for like money. The green one, if that's what it prosperity. is. Yeah. Oh, prosperity. Okay. Dude, no wonder why. No wonder why I'm such a big success. <laughs> there you Damn. go. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's Sorry. okay. I'm no, like you're okay. There. I'm going to take yeah. this one from now on. No, 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 no. Those are, <laughs> I've literally had these in my pocket for probably yeah, you know what? like six months. And we, yeah. we yeah. prefer the raw stones like yeah. you have. Yeah, yep. yeah so this is just uh, a friend of mine that was, um, you know, uh, into like all the chakra stuff and so on. Mm -hmm. that she gave them to me and she said, because I, you know, dealt with some anxiety through mm -hmm. the, uh, the uh, problems Andy. with the, uh, and uh <laughs> So it, I don't know if they've helped, but I, I feel more comfortable with them. Yeah. So I keep and them you know on where, me at all times. Do you know where to place those specific crystals if no. you're trying to help? So no. Like, them on your chakras. The green would be for your heart. Okay. And the purple could be for your third eye, okay. for your crown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, okay. That's oh. kind of purple can be a little interchangeable. Third eye. So. Yeah, and I have, um, we have uh, uh, this, uh, uh, one of our followers named Mama Chakra. Really? She, she said, yeah, 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 seriously. And she sent me, a, that's where all the crystals came from. That, Mama yeah, Shocker that. sent us crystals. Yeah, and so she gave us, a, I have like a, a, a ball that is something, I don't know what it is, and it's supposed to be Dude. good for meditation, so mm -hmm. I use it when I meditate and so on like that. So That's awesome. Um, Mama Shocker needs to hit me up. Send me <laughs> some stuff. I, I like that stuff. I'm so intrigued Labradite. by all that. Like when I Yeah, was, there it is. That's what I have, Labradite. a, a Labradite. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's so, so interesting interesting to me like because it's not talked about Thank in you, schools Jay. or nothing you know you don't get sat down in class all right it's mm -mm. crystal class guys bring right. out your magic balls like this doesn't happen but and there are so many there are yeah, so many different like, and there's variations I so you, i don't know that i class. you know we could ever learn about all of them but once you find something that you like you know and you learn to you use it better, yeah. yep you know depending on you. where we're going you know we pick specific crystals yeah sometimes we don't wear anything do you know, you, do you guys have nothing a like naked? Well, no, <laughs> wow. no we don't want to scare it's the clients. really weird. It's getting really weird now. You no. still want to investigate with us? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go the nudist farm. Uh, that, that's, do you, <laughs> can you imagine the energy at a nudist dude, place? Dude, that place that would place be, be on fire. Yeah. Especially, oh my goodness, let's not get into it. No, but cool. do you guys have like a crystal store, like a local store, or is it like online? Mostly. Or are you not allowed to say A little that? bit of both, yeah. actually, yeah. We yeah. love to hit up new stores, you know, if we go to different places, see yeah. what they have. But like, I'm um, trying to go. Yeah, well, you know, Halloween, we're going to be... We're, I'm well, the spirit. Well, you know, we're going to be... Um, we're dr we're leaving tomorrow mm -hmm. uh, to go on a, a trip that's going to take us all over the country for the next 13 days. And uh, we'll be through the Badlands and in, in, in South Dakota. And there's tons of crystal mm -hmm. stores in that really? area. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah so you're, getting... You said you're going to Phoenix. You should yeah, Phoenix, try yeah. to get some fire agate. It's really? very fire specific agate? to Arizona, oh, okay. New Mexico. Gotcha. It's beautiful. And when it's polished, it almost looks like dragon scales with fire. Oh, it's man, a beautiful, cute. beautiful okay, star. Fire agate. Fire agate. Got it. I know. I remember the agate part because we had, oh, yeah. Because punched of it up. What? Fire agate. Well, because we had an agate beach up in, uh, in, <laughs> in the UP. Oh, so, oh yeah. So that that's one, probably one yeah. over. Yeah, that's it. Right there. Oh my gosh, that's wow. gorgeous. Yeah, I'm getting a couple of those. Yeah. Oh my I've seen gosh. the beautiful. I was watching the cabin with Burt Kreischer. It's on Netflix. It's like mm. a comedy thing. Comedy thing. Yeah. But they were doing this uh like chakra alignment, right? And they put like a bunch of minerals all over on his chakras and stuff. And uh, I don't know. I've never done that, but I'll be. I would love to. I'm yeah, a big Kelly. I'm a big, yeah. Kelly is certified. Really? really? Well, I'm a, I'm a big believer in that. I, I really am. More than I don't understand any of it. Me neither. But I believe in it tremendously. Right. I and agree. I even yeah. I even you know, I go to I an agree. energy coach yeah. every week. As a matter of fact, oh, that's you know, great. so that is true. So, by yeah, the way, it's not BS. Me. <laughs> it is oh, definitely yeah. true. I mean, every week I well, you know, I won't go the next two weeks, but yeah, every week I go to somebody, and I don't know what she's doing, but you know, <laughs> uh, but I think it, it's I, I feel better when I'm done. And interestingly enough, and I know we're way off ghost topic, but and we'll wrap up here in a little bit, but uh. uh Interesting enough, when I was a kid, when I would close my eyes, I would see like, I, the only thing I could say is my aura, you know? So I would see this like blue rotating thing that had like black freckles in it. And, and if I concentrated, it would go to a little dot to something bigger. I forgot about it a hundred percent. I started going to this energy person about three months ago and that has came back. Wow. Which okay. is weird. I, I didn't even remember. Yeah. I was laying on her thing when she was kind of doing her whole energy thing. And, and I, I started to see the blue, you know, whatever it is. I don't energy field. I have no idea yeah. what it is. Um, and I was like, and I remember, I was like, oh my God, this was like when I was a kid, I was like that. So that's why I say, I think she's helping me. Oh, <laughs> you know, she's opening yeah. up, she's yeah. opening up something, you know, something in me. And, uh, 
Um, so I, I enjoy it. And, and my wife, of course, always laughs at me. Cause she's like, is it helping you? I'm like, I don't know, but I, I like it. Well, so let's go. keep going. And it's helping, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so let's keep doing it. You know, yeah. so I leave, I feel better. So I, so I'm good to go. But, uh, so let's, let's end with, uh, just, uh, what are, what's your list of, of places you need to go? You already said that you wanted to, to uh, go to a couple places. What's that? Yeah. What's the, what's the, the Trinity of, uh, of places? All that right. Well, I do want to do Gettysburg. Yeah. Yep. Gettysburg. I want to do the yeah. Queen Mary. Oh, we were, we did that. We've we got been. lost yeah. on it. You we got did. lost on it. We got yeah. lost. I'm jelly. We yes. went. We went a little off the. the yeah, tell the, them. Yeah, we went a little off the path there. So we went in with the tour, we're and we kind breakers. of like you know, as the tour went this way, we decided to go that way, <laughs> and um, and we, we we literally were kind of lost. I mean, we didn't Barry. know. Yeah, we were down in the engine rooms, and <laughs> and uh, we went through a few doors that said off limits, and and, uh, <laughs> nice. and, 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 and we were we were deep down in the bowels of the Queen Mary, yeah. and uh, wow. it was pretty. There was this like really cool part of the boat where we got to where it was like we were obviously in the underwater part because there was like this propeller yeah. under there that was like going and we were just like down there all yeah. by ourselves all it was by ourselves real creepy like it, it was, was super black but the water had like its own light to it so like we could see into yeah. the water yeah. and you could see the propeller yeah. and because i think it was daylight so the water was lit up but mm -hmm. yeah and it was um but there was times where we didn't really experience a whole lot there yeah. but but it it, it you felt weird. Like you felt dizzy. Mm -hmm. Like it's sometimes, sometimes you would just like be walking and you'd feel like you're like, Oh, what's going on? And it's, it's not, there's no waves, you know? So it's not waves yeah. that are throwing yeah. you around. Yeah. Um, but you just feel real off. And, uh, but that was, that was a cool place. Queen Mary. So, well, okay. Someday, Queen Mary. Someday I have to go there. Queen Mary. And then gotcha. while we're on that side of the United States, I want to go to the Winchester house. I've been there. Yep, we're, I've been there too. Well, yep, I'm telling yep, you, yep. we're kind of sewers. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. Why aren't Obviously. you taking us? Yeah. We're, we're, we weirdly enough, though, when uh, you go to Winchester, they don't let you take pictures or cameras or anything. You can't if you pull your cell phone out, they kick you out. Oh wow! Yeah, so mm -hmm. so they were pretty. Sure. We were on a tour for that one. You're not allowed to go on your own on that way. At least for, with, with my connections, I, we have a good friend that plays for the San Jose Sharks, and okay. of course, Winchester House is in San Jose, right outside San Jose. So um, weird place, though. Really weird place and very cool to go see. So yeah, so I try to hit them all. Oh, that's awesome! Um, uh, last Friday, I think um, I did a I watched a virtual tour of it. Oh mm. yeah, nice. so that was kind of cool. That's yeah, actually cool. Song. Look at that technology yeah. these days. Yeah, yeah. So I did a virtual tour. I'm like, oh, I want to go there, but yeah, that's I want to investigate it. I wouldn't want to just you know walk. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, it's the same thing. Like yeah. I tried my hardest, and I think that if we would have been like a little more time, especially with my buddy, you know, he, he obviously he's well connected out there. We yeah. could have probably gotten something a little bit more private, but. But we took what we could get. It was kind of like a last minute thing. Myself and my wife were like, let's go. And, and uh, so I, I, she wasn't that excited about it, but uh, I was excited. So she, we drug her out there and uh, it was just me and her and we cruised around. It was very unique. And again, a really interesting story. You know, yeah. I mean, the whole story behind it is what it was intriguing of me, you know, for me, you know, the fact that she literally felt if they stopped building that the, all the ghosts of the Winchester deaths would, would haunt her. So yeah. It's bizarre, you know, and it's, yeah. uh, and, and, uh, yeah, just really, it was, it's a cool place. You'll love it if you get yeah, out there. Definitely. The whole 13, everything's 13. Yeah. And, and literally there's like stairs to the ceiling. There's, yep. there's, you know, you you open a door and it's got a two story drop, you know, the, uh, the staircase that the winding staircase is really weird. And that was the only time that I felt like, and it might've just been, I felt weird because it's bizarre. I mean, so you go, I, it was like, I don't know, maybe a hundred and something steps, but you only go up six feet. So, so you're like, you're going like, cause you go like this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. And you're only going up like an inch per step. Wow. And it just kind of that was whines. for her arthritis in her knees. Yeah. I don't know if that's true. That's what I've heard. That's what but I've heard. That's what well, I've heard but that that kind of changed though. Why didn't you just build an elevator? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You could easily, have been, I think there were some elevators in that house too, but uh, yeah. it was, uh, I think that she was just crazy, you know, and, and a built a lot point. of crazies because they said that they built stuff and then would just tear it down. Yeah. They would build and then tear and build and tear. And, but it, even with all of that, it, it's like what, 127 rooms or something like that. Wow. So yeah. it's a, it's a wild place. You got to get out there. So do is your, your list the same or is there? Um, yeah, because we'll probably do it together. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I really, I want to go to the conjuring house. I think that's oh, yeah, at the that's, top of my list yeah. And, yeah. and it is because of the hu the hype. It's because, you know, we've met the family members. Um, so we have a little backstory there. Um, yeah, I just want to experience that. Now in the movies, if I'm not mistaken for saying like, wasn't that a demonic movie? Or was that not a demonic movie? I can't remember. It's been a long time since I, I watched think, it. Basically, well, well, I think it's so. I I think the jury's still out on whether it's really demonic or not. 
because I don't know that they ever proved anything. I know right. they did like the little seance thing okay. and that didn't turn out well. Um, but I don't know that they've ever, yeah. they, they've, they just can't explain what goes on there. Man, right. You guys are really shooting my demons down. Have, uh, have you guys heard of, uh, what does Rebecca say? I cannot Rebecca read that. Rebecca says, says it's, uh, tried Alaska the house and yep. that's, yep. um, Villa yeah. Succa. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Villa it's, Succa. Uh, the ex murder murder house yeah, yeah. oh, oh is it uh um what johnny axe boy no uh yeah. lizzie name? borden is it no no, different? no this different. one is um and they think i think they think it was like a pastor from the the like oh, a wow. traveling pastor that oh. came through he went the other way and on he that went one in and he killed what three three or five children we got right. crying oh, yep it's yeah. axe murder house oh, yep. yeah the crime that's of the beautiful Valencia. yeah that's just what you want yeah a pastor murdering you. Yeah. 1912 yeah. Okay. Yep. Eight people. Yeah. Wow. Six that's children. That's always like, yeah, I mean, okay, that's, right. I mean, that's yep. got to leave some pretty nasty right. energy, you know, when you're talking about axe murdering. I mean, that's, right. that's, 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 that's a terrible. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think that's kind of what the Amityville Horror House, and then that's an interesting one too, right? Is because is that real or not? Because you had the Lux family that claimed it was, but then there's been a family that's lived there now for 20 something years that has never had any activity at all. Right. Right. Well, and it's just you like know. the conjuring house. Right. They had all their issues. And then the lady that had lived there until it just got sold a year ago. Never had a problem. No, Nothing. she lived there for years. And, and never... that's where you start to think, okay, maybe it's, you know, family related, family related, yeah, but, manifesting something, but yeah. we really don't know. Yeah. So, and as Kelly was saying with the conjuring house that, I mean, the premise of that is demonic, mm -hmm. but can you prove it? Right. So yeah. I guess there's nothing. And that's that's ultimately it, right? You know, mm -hmm. proof is, is difficult, you know. I mean, the yeah, science it behind it, you can use scientific stuff right. to, to kind of show some things that are unusual, but yet you still either are a believer or a non-believer. Right, right. And it's very difficult to, you know. I bet these ghosts or whatever you want to call them get smart, too. Uh, they see the camera, they're like, I'm hiding. I'm not going to come <laughs> out for you. Well, I think actually, I think it was like Grant Wilson. I don't know if it was at the, the Paracon, but he was saying, he's like, can you imagine like the next generation of people? Right. They're doing investigating because all of us now know about these tools and things. Yeah. So when we die, we'll, we'll be like, hey, man, we're going to hit that. Yeah. You know? or, oh, yeah. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Fun. That's, that's actually that's super actually, interesting. That's I actually, never yeah, thought, yeah, about, I that. Yeah. thought yeah. about that. You're going to know exactly what to do with that. You're going to be like, bing, bing, bing. And exactly who we want to haunt yeah. <laughs> yeah and that's the thing i mean there's been some really great evidence on these tv shows mm -hmm. um but it's hard because you just don't know what to believe you don't know it, if it's you know? tv it's like, or you know reality yeah weirdly enough the first ghost adventures i don't know if you've seen the documentary the ghost adventures documentary that started the whole thing this was so what it was is zach bagans nick groff and uh, uh, Aaron Goodwin actually were in college, and, and and this was their like thesis film, and they did a a mine in Nevada, and 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 caught literally like a brick flying across boards moving, really amazing footage. I mean, yeah. and, and this was like they were kids. I mean, they didn't fake this, and um, or I don't think they. I mean, it, it, for, if you watch the original documentary. It, it doesn't look fake. I mean, it looks like legit. And the reactions make you think it was not faked either. Right. Um, and so what ended up happening was, believe it or not, sci-fi picked that, that documentary up and ran that documentary. And it wasn't for years later that Travel Channel ended up signing Ghost Adventures as a series. So it actually started as a documentary. Okay. And it was the best footage I've ever probably seen on any paranormal thing. So it was just literally like yeah. three college kids that just got really lucky. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and even the Ghost Hunter stuff. I mean, that first few seasons, they caught a few things that oh, were, yeah. were shockingly right. good. Yeah. But I think that the downside is, is that some of the, the BS TV -very, uh, you know, that goes into to production uh, has kind of almost discounted some of that stuff, which right. is a shame. Yeah. There you was know? a good question while you were just saying, have you guys experienced a poltergeist uh, in person? Never? I have no. not. No. no. Okay. Interesting. But like, do people, is that like a pretty common term around your community? Like, that is it believed that poltergeists are real or is that more of a film per se kind of, okay, we're making a movie Let's throw in this thing called a poltergeist just to make it fun. I I I, th I think there there is some basis to it. I think you know it, it is a real thing. Okay. I don't know that it happens as much as right. You know, 
kind of the same yeah. lo- along yeah. the lines of the term demonic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, okay. really, yeah, it's really weird because I saw this. Uh, I I love all this stuff, right? So I, I and by the way, so there's paranormal caught on tape. Have you guys seen this yes. one? Right. First off, a bunch of our friends have been on the show, and <laughs> don't we don't spoil it. I'm not saying names. I'm just saying that our friends definitely don't catch paranormal stuff, but they've been on that show <laughs> with really great paranormal stuff. Um, so you know, it's obviously yeah. very fake. But but last night I saw one. They were doing like top forty or something like that. And there, it's a weird one because it's like you literally see like spoons lifting up and spinning around and flying, and and and, and some of these things even like there was this one school that like the the security camera caught like chairs sliding and mm-hmm. doors open. It's like how do you fake that? Yeah, it right. doesn't seem it's, it would like you would point. need Steven Spielberg to fake that. Right. You know what I mean? And yeah, and uh, you know some of the stuff you go, oh, yeah, there's no way. I mean, like when a coffee can comes flying. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Out of yeah. But but when you're like, yeah, mm-hmm. when you're you're seeing like all this craziness, especially on security cameras, it seems real. Yeah, yeah. But but unfortunately, again, because they're in the same show, in the same sixty, well, forty two minutes of TV, you know, you have total bullshit. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then you have some credible stuff, you know. Remember the one we saw with the, like the little like alien Goblin. walk, <laughs> dude. It was, like I mean, it was Dobby. It was, yeah, it yeah. was like yeah, oh, it was, um, Harry Potter it was, in a driveway. Yeah, it was. I have seen. I've actually yeah. seen that one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it looks great, right? Yeah. I mean, whoever yeah. did that, I, I mean, I'm assuming it's not real, yeah. because. Because of like it's yeah. a mythical creature, yeah, right. But who knows? Maybe it is. <laughs> well, maybe you know, it is. it's it's kind of like Bigfoot, right? Right. You know, it's exactly. like just so much we don't know. Yeah, so. but I I appreciate the first off. I appreciate yeah. you guys coming. I appreciate you guys being so open to everything. I appreciate everything. We'll put all the links in the description to all your stuff. Yeah. If you guys uh, need anything from us in the future, please let's do something together. Oh, I think it'd be a lot of fun. Because right. um, like like we said, I make videos. He makes videos. He probably wouldn't make a ghost vlog but i would definitely make a ghost vlog i would make a part of a ghost vlog well and 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 honestly truly you you, we're kind of at the end of our season right but um you guys next year when we have we have public investigations yeah Mm -hmm. um we have them at the fort grash at lighthouse okay Uh, we have them um at the carnegie uh, museum right Mm -hmm. and we do them at the whaley house in flint I've yeah. heard of that one. Yeah, the Waitley House is a good yeah. one. So, yeah, so uh, like I said, links in the description for next year so people can book with you guys and uh, support you guys so that you can continue on doing all the amazing work, helping yes. families and stuff like that. Uh, in the meantime, we'll stay in touch, and uh, we'll uh, we'll look forward to uh, to go seeing. We'll, we'll look forward to having Jay not become a skeptic in the future. <laughs> yeah, that's we need what we to get need. Jay touched by uh, uh, something. If we'll Jay... put him in the room with the... The blindfold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there we go, Jay. I want to do that too. leave. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, uh, so yeah. So, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Happy Halloween! Thank you for spending Happy your Halloween, Halloween uh, you evening with us. us. It was amazing, and supposedly and, uh, there's a full moon tonight as yes, well. Yes, there is. Oh, it's yeah. blue moon. Blue moon. Oh my god! I'm gonna be drinking some blue moon. Yeah. Enjoying the blue moon. Not yet. You've got uh, six more days to charge go. your crystals. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Charge yeah. our crystals. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, Let's go buy some crystals, baby. Well, thank you so much. and Appreciate it. As always, guys. You can check us out on. Spotify. You can check us out on the Clips channel. Subscribe to that. Hit that yes. like button. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us. Have a safe Halloween out there, everybody. Yeah. Uh, you guys are absolutely awesome. Love you so much. And we will see you in two weeks because there will not two be a weeks. podcast for two weeks. So you two guys weeks. are going to miss us. Uh, we have a lot of stories to tell you when we come back from our journey. Sure. So uh, so enjoy yourself and be safe. Love somebody. And uh, we'll see you in a couple weeks. Love two people. See you guys. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so Aww. much, guys. Oh, no, thanks. Thanks. Thank fun. you. Yeah. Hopefully it was...